What the fuck? Uh, we're recording. Is it anything you could talk about on stream? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Try complimentary's new name. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's been fucking about a little bit. Going live. Okay. Hello there. Um. I haven't previewed this video, but I hear it's a pretty fucking painful one today. God, I only needed to see like a minute of it to know it was abysmal, and I was just like, yeah, we're covering this. <laughs> this is fucking bad. Well, I mean, it is game theory. All you had to do is see the channel and uh, thumbnail to know it was going to be abysmal. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. <laughs> Uh, shouldn't expect anything else from him, but my god, it's just... Oh, the intro is fucking annoying as shit. I fucking hate the intro. And then as soon as he got into his arguments, it was like... Uh, I Actually, I, I partially agreed with some of it at the start, and but then he lumped in some other shit that just did not make sense. And it was like, but why? Hmm. But yeah, I, I, it's going to get bad. Also, mm. Jesus Christ, we are not reading out your full name, Dry Complimentary. Jesus Christ, that is... What the fuck? Yep, not at all. Why? Yeah, it's okay. GTA 6 has been leaked, baby. Everyone say it was leaked for Stag. Uh, I've heard about the leaks. I haven't looked into them at all, because I'm just not interested at this point. Yeah, same. I just do not give a shit about GTA. Yeah. I don't care. Anyway, should we just get into the video, or do we have anything to start with? Uh, well, I mean, unless you want to talk about the fact that, guys, the pandemic is officially over! Yeah. It's only seven months late! Yeah, pedo Peter, talking about the pandemic now. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked, like... Yeah, l l let me announce it now that it's over. But but we're not going to stop pushing the mandates or call off the uh, you know the emergency stuff. No 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 no. That that's still a thing. We're not changing any of that. But we're also going to officially announce that it's over. It's yep. Like what? <laughs> Fucking what? I don't know also, how you I can love announce it's over and still have all the travel restrictions. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It. <laughs> they just want to keep their thing. power. That's all it is. Yeah, when is anything the Brandon crime regime done made sense? Right. Yeah, it's so fucking bad. And then I love that he came out and was like, oh, yeah, if Taiwan gets invaded, we're going to defend it. Troops on the ground. U.S. troops on the ground to defend it. And then immediately <laughs> his, his fucking administration comes out and was like, uh, uh, the, the, the president was off his meds. Uh, the, he didn't mean any of that. He's wrong. We're not doing any of that. Our plan has not changed. Fuck Taiwan. <laughs> It's just like, what is even the point of having a fucky president anymore, honestly? What is even the point? My favorite one was that fucking retard in, in New York. It went on New York City. He goes on to CNN, doing softball questions. He goes, do you do you now admit that there is a, a crisis at the border or anything? And, and that's what the Republicans are trying to show? Um, and, is it a, and is it a crisis for Biden? Well, well, uh, 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 uh it, it's a crisis for the whole nation. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I love that meme. Oh, yeah. Meme one hundred and one paused the video and says, "And who the fuck is the leader of that nation, dumbass?" Yeah, it's so fucking terrible. It's, oh my god, it's so funny to me. Within twenty four hours, they went from, "Oh yeah, we'll, we'll accept them. Yeah, we we want illegal immigrants here. We love them." And in, in less than twenty four hours, they went from that to get these. Filthy trash ridden people off my fucking lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, God damn. Well, again, we always knew the Democrats were hypocritical, lying, racist pieces of shit. We yeah, just had to I have mean, everybody show it. Yeah, it oh, it's so bad. Like and then they try to blame everyone else. It's like, motherfucker, it's your policies that brought them here. You're the reason they're here in the first place. But then you expect all the border states to take them all and do it and just that's it. it you're nothing else what are they supposed to do with the overflow you guys are literally saying you'll take them and that you want them here so why are you fucking bitching Deporting so much them. when they send them to you yeah 
Like you're the ones literally saying, bring them here. And then when they do, you immediately call in the national guard and call them trash and say, get them out of here. <laughs> yep. Like, God damn, you racist pieces of shit. Well, that's one way to start a stream. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's yeah. always, that's always been the Democrat party. They've always been the party of racist bigots and everything. Just, I don't know why people don't ever see. I know it's, mind-boggling that people can just ignore it year after year <sighs> sad yep so sad <laughs> um <laughs> anyways uh video yeah sure i heard i don't know how much you heard such but apparently the intro is super cringe and Pagan couldn't make it past the first argument because it was so bad. Woo! Yeah. It sounds like we're for a doozy. Also, pardon everybody, I'm eating lunch. Um, well, it is game theory, after all. Yeah. Yep. Map Path, the one I, I always question how the fuck he ever convinced anybody that he had any level of intelligence. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's genuinely baffling when he just gets stuff wrong. At Constantly. least in the videos I've seen. Um, like, okay, you make a channel to theorizing about games. It, it should be pretty easy as long as the stuff you're theorizing is within the lore of what the game is. Like, oh, let's do a Fallout Theory video. You know, what, what could be going on in New York in the Fallout universe or whatever? But the last one we watched from him, they, I forget what point they were trying to make, but halfway th uh, through the video, they just completely switched tracks to talk about something entirely different that didn't affect the main point of the video, which was just weird. Yeah. That's kind of how he goes. Like, he'll say a bunch of random bullshit that actually makes no sense whatsoever and has no basis in reality, and you can tell he fucks up his math constantly and doesn't do any research. He just passes it off as confident. He's a con man, basically. He thinks he's smart. He comes off like he's supposed to be smart. And for whatever reason, people buy it. And then if you take even two seconds to look into it, you're like, hang on a second, none of that fucking works. I guess the part I don't understand is the people buying it. Like, God. Well, that pet needs someone look, to make better thumbnails for his videos? Yeah, he does. What was that? It's the same, it's the exact same people that fall for con men. No, okay, but like, typically a con man is like, hey, here's this hair tonic that'll grow back your hair. And it's just like, nothing. And that's where the whole snake oil thing comes from. But Matt Pat's videos, it's like, I, I don't know, because wouldn't the target audience typically be smart enough to be like, Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't match up with the. Well, we are talking about Bethesda Fallout. No, it's, Fallout, it's not. So. Yeah, he's it's not going for that target audience. He's going for the dummies. Yeah, he's going for the people who don't know anything about these games and just assume that what he's saying is correct. Yeah. Because everyone else who actually knows anything about the game always bitches about him and goes see, in his comments and see, screeches but that's at him. Kind of exactly my point is. If you're not a fan of the game series, then why would you want to watch a video on... Like, okay, let's because say... Because he's a confident. I'm, I'm trying to explain. If he makes a, like, theory video about Kingdom Hearts, I have zero fucking interest personally in Kingdom Hearts. So why would I watch a theory video about it? That, that's now, you'd be surprised. What I'm that doesn't really matter. Like, there's plenty yeah. of things where I've seen, like, stuff where I have zero interest in the game or whatever... But I will see a video where it'll say something, and I'm like, oh, that seems kind of interesting. I'm curious about this now. What What do you mean? And I will watch the video. Yep. So, yeah, that, that that's, again, but that's the kind of audience you, he brings in. It's just people who don't know anything about it and are curious. Yeah, as long as you sound confident, people will assume you know the fuck you're talking about. That's uh, the whole point yeah. behind Con Man. It, con Man isn't, like, convict. It's confidence. Yeah. It's confidence man. No, I know that. Yeah, so he just sounds confident in what he says, even though he's fucking wrong, like, 99% of the time. He has no what? idea what the fuck he's talking about. Are you telling me that, that it's literally, that there's absolutely, literally no food in Scandinavia? 
What? Yeah, none and at all. Everything freezes it's a to death wasteland. instantly. Yep. Yeah. No farms, no nothing. It's it's a hellish wasteland. What was God, the last? I can't believe he fucking said that. I can't believe he said that either. Literally has a meaning. It means literally. Yeah. Um, means exactly, unexaggerated, um, realistically. Oh, it's, you know it what? It is what it is. Hold on, I made a mistake. That wasn't game theory that switched tracks midway through. That was the shoddy cast video we covered. Because I was just yeah. looking back for that. Well, the last one we did was the Viking Knights Samurai. Which was also the first time we covered them then. I thought... Yes. I got that completely mixed up in my head. I thought that was um, Game Theory that did the one we covered on the 50th. But no, that was shoddy that's, cast. <laughs> fucking That's rip. fair. It was... See, very similar videos, so yeah, <laughs> that's I, totally fair. That yeah, that's why I mixed up in my head because it, that video was about as dog shit as anything uh, Game Theory puts out. Yeah, which is a shame because I'd heard good things about Shoddy Cast, but man, that video was terrible. And if that's if that's reflective of any of their other work, oof, not even worth it. Not even worth looking at. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Yeah. You'd think out if scientists could create house robots and power armor, they could have at least figured out color TV by now, right? I mean, really. Good job creating a fictional universe there, guys. What the fuck? Cringe. Okay. So you understand beginning. that these are not directly correlated, right? LEDs and stuff like that aren't something that you naturally need for robots. If people just don't go down that that path, that technology path, they don't expand out that way. They're just not going to go out that way. Jesus fuck, brother. It's also just stupid that. What are you going to do with that shit? Like, there is no television anymore. It's gone. <laughs> well, no, he's talking about before society fell. That's what he's clearly getting at. Yeah, but who the <sighs> fuck cares if there's color TV or not? That's completely pointless to anything within the universe. No, 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 no. Microchips were invented, guys. Miniaturization didn't come into effect. They didn't work with miniaturization, so they still had the old-style sets of uh, cathode... Cath cathode tubes? Why does that sound wrong to me? I think that's right. Cathode ray tubes? Yeah. Yeah, they still had all that stuff. They just didn't... Uh, they didn't worry about miniaturization at all. It just wasn't prioritized. So... If you don't prioritize certain aspects of it, why would you ever go towards color television? If you're not working towards a track that tangentially relates, then why would you bother? Yeah. Also, the black and white tube TVs was purely an aesthetic choice. Yeah. I, I understand why the developers made that decision. Yeah. It, it just seems like a weird point to pick at when it's not related to anything significant in any way well yep. it's i don't think he's being serious i think it's literally just a joke but still it's just a really cringe and awful joke yeah oh. it's just a bad i sure it's a joke then i guess but i don't see how it works as a joke it really doesn't it's it's like an anti-joke honestly then again it doesn't even work as an anti-joke well, it was literally just him there saying in a goofy way, oh, in a world with robots and power armor, there's no color TV. What's up with that? Well, that's not really a goofy way. That's just kind of how he talks. He's that fucking stupid all the time. Oh. So sound balancing, motherfucker. Yeah, Jesus this is Christ. way louder than it needs to be. Good God. Yeah, that's definitely some ear rape right there, guys. Thoughts on his theory video on New Vegas where he analyzes the likelihood of you surviving Benny's execution in the beginning of the game. I trust MatPat exactly 0% on anything ever, especially how guns work how bullets work, and how human medical issues work. 
Yeah. Especially if he just says, you got two bullets in your brain, you're dead no matter what. It's like, there are people that had entire rebars and railway spikes shot through their fucking head, and they were okay. Is it incredibly oh, unlikely? Let, Absolutely. Okay is a bit of a relative statement with the railroad spike one. He survived. Yeah, uh, to say he was okay... He led a mostly normal life, but it was shortened yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. Well, my point is that he wasn't instantly dead. Yeah. Yeah, he lived several years after the fact, though um, people did say that his personality was changed a bit after that, which, you know, is a little bit understandable after having a fucking railroad spike blown through your fucking head. Yep. Talk about the dumb idea, though, to go see, huh, the explosive didn't go off, and then he leans his head over the hole. Actually, that's not what happened. Um, they were build, uh, it was, they were, it was railroad construction. They were trying to blow out some stone. So they had a, a hole drilled, and they were packing down dynamite or gum, some kind of explosive, and there's a tamping rod. And yeah. something happened with that where it accidentally got set off, and that's what blew it through his head. So it wasn't actually yeah, a railroad well, spike. Enough. Um, but yeah, it, it's a little bit fucked. <laughs> it was a 9mm bullet. If Benny shot you in the chest, you have ha uh, died from lung explosion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if there's anyone that knows less about firearms, it's any politician. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god, the shit they always fucking say. Yeah, they're always so fucking brain dead stupid, and then all the fucking seals clap in agreement. Yeah. Puts a fucking nine millimeter down. What type of gun is that, mommy? <laughs> it's one of the big ones. It's one of the big scary ones. Uh, I think it's called an AR-15. <laughs> an AK-47. Clearly. What, what was even better was that generals are also fucking stupid when it comes to firearms, which is hilarious. Yeah, it's Fully pretty bad. Fully automatic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Internet, welcome to Game Theory, buying up all the ramen in preparation for the Great War. Actually, that's a lie. I bought 600 cases of ramen noodles because they're delicious. And they had a nifty deal at Costco. But in all serious... See, that's what I mean. He's just as retarded anyways. See, the last time I had watched a Game Theory video was last time we covered them. Because why the fuck would you ever watch a Game Theory video? I actually kind of forgot how painfully cringe his videos were. Yep. Yeah. Anyone who really still bad. plays the bingo, f feel free to cross off every fucking cringe buck you have. <laughs> <laughs> and psychic damage. I was about yeah. to say, can we check off psychic damage as well? Oh, absolutely. Oh. And you can you can go ahead and put no research and citation needed on that as well. <laughs> <laughs> My testicles just receded. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> the, the, there are many ailments that come with watching a game theory video. It's cringe father, it is not keck. <laughs> yep. I mean, I keep saying this recently, but it's true. Give me something for the cringe and let me die. Yep. Oh god, some people are bringing up his fucking... Apparently he has a really cringe video about the election in 2016. Which is funny you should mention that, because he brings up politics in this one as well, like modern 2016 politics oh in this boy. video. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what a dumbass like MatPat has to say about politics. MatPat jokes are long and dumb. Yeah. Have you seen the... 2016 was a scary year filled with terrorist attacks and the world on edge. 2017, well, it's still early, but I think it's gonna be more of the same. Remember when your Twitter feed wasn't people arguing about politics? Pepperidge Farm remembers. I do too. I remember that. It was mm. Fuck off. Oh boy. It, it's only gotten worse since then. Yep. Man, it's because... weird going back in time and seeing this and people being like, oh, it's so terrible in 2016 and 2017. And it's like, God, I long for the days. Of 2016, 2016 and 2017 again. <laughs> God, even even better is the fact that like 
Oh, though we actually did get a huge victory in Texas where they're like, no, a company does not have right to censor speech. It's like, fuck yeah. Yeah, Eat that shit. was good. Hey, Twitter, guess what? Go suck on a dick. Oh, and Facebook. All of them. All of them. Facebook, YouTube. All of those companies now have to actually allow you to talk about what you want because it's freedom of speech, asshole. Um, in Texas. I'm In Texas. But if one state does it, you know where it's going. Yeah, no, hopefully all the states will do it, because if they don't, unfortunately, no. Twitter will just be like, oh, well, no, we'll just matter. cut our service in Texas. That doesn't matter, because it'll just go to the Supreme Court. They'll have to take it to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court will decide one way or the other. And currently, True. we have a Supreme Court that actually obeys the Constitution for once? Holy fuck. Yeah, they've been they've been doing pretty well on that stuff. This man sounds like the incarnation of Nine Gag. I think he's actually worse than that. I'm already sick of seeing his fucking face in this video. Yep. Those were the good old days. This doom and gloom did have one positive thing to come out of it. It got me to revisit Fallout. And not only that, I am determined to keep 2017 positive, so instead of an episode calculating the odds of a nuclear holocaust that would wipe out 99% of humanity, today's episode is gonna focus on fixing Fallout society. Rebuilding civilization from its own ashes. Not with the old, sad, scary theories about heroes being villains or heroes being dead. It's the start of a new day, making... I mean, I already get the impression that this video is going to be as dog shit as those other ones are. Oh, absolutely. That never changed. Changed. Imagine showing those thumbnails and not being embarrassed by them. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we'll have to see what he says, because again, this is... Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas don't have a problem with society regrowing. Fallout 3 and 4, on the other hand... World's better one theory at a time. Game Theory 2017 for a brighter future. Now, there's always been one niggling issue in the back of my head about the Fallout series that never quite sat right with me. It's been over 200 years since the bombs went off. And in the real world, 200 years is a really long time. 200 years is about the time it took from inventing the steam engine to getting a- Uh-oh, Bethesda Tards. What's happening here? You're gonna get your fucking ass reamed by MatPat of all people? Hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, MatPat sure. is talking about how nothing is has progressed in 200 years. But that is only true in Bethesda's fallouts. That is where that is where it only exists, where society has only uh, has never progressed at all. Yeah, I can understand having this misconception if you've only ever played Fallout 3 and 4. Yes. Yeah. It's like, uh-oh, Bethesda Tard fans, guess what's happening? ...us to fly. 60 years after that to get a man into space. Alan Turing first proposed his Turing machine back in 1936, laying the groundwork for modern computers. Computers that when first built... Oh, why would you show a picture of Benedict Cumberbunch? And not, like, the actual Alan Turing. Because he played the part in a movie or something. Yeah, he did, but you should actually show the thing. You should show the, the actual person, you fucking idiot. Well, because it's Matt Patton, he's a fucking idiot. I mean, that's true. He probably thought that was him. He's probably that <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh, man, oh, this... No. This turret guy kind of looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, huh, that's weird. I'll just slap that into the video and not even look at the fucking image that has Benedict Cumberbatch's name on it. Yep. All the fucking variations of Benedict Cumberbatch Mahler used in his Multiverse of Madness video were fucking great. Holy <laughs> shit. Took up square meters, weighed 27 Dang. tons, and cost millions of dollars. And now, only 80 years later, we have smartphones like the Vivo Max, currently the world's thinnest phone at literally 4.5 millimeters thick. No exaggeration, that is 40 million times smaller, costs 15,000 times less, and is 1,300 times more powerful in- I feel like- there's probably something a little more going on with the price there, because he's probably just comparing the price to buy a phone, where the cost to develop it is probably up in the millions still. Because, like, 
that computer he was talking about that cost millions of dollars, it's not like you would pay millions of dollars to get one built in your house. It was probably the development of that one original computer. You're being There's... generous. He said this Turing guy looks like Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine him saying something that, um, intelligent. <laughs> yeah. 80 years! Yeah, I it, get it. it, the world of Fallout has suffered. Here, here's the big key problem. How much you want to bet he didn't take inflation at all into account? Not at all. Of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not at all. Not I, even that, I guarantee he probably did an apples to apples like thing instead of like, yeah, but, you know... Ten dollars today would have been like a thousand dollars back then, or some shit. Yeah, because no, the, the moment for... he said this computer cost millions to do uh, millions of dollars to make, I was like, in their money or in our money? Because there is a difference. Yeah. There's a huge difference. Catastrophe. But for as bad as the Great War was, there's still functioning robot servants and power armor suits just lying around the wasteland. Sure. Okay, so yes, there are bits and problems with this. There shouldn't be any functioning robots anywhere near a blast radius. That's that's EMP. That shit would have fried all that stuff. Yeah, especially when none of the cars work, but somehow yeah. robots do. It's like, why did the cars all die, but the robots are still around? Yeah, exactly. And not to mention that, but the power armor thing, we've, we've talked a lot about power armor and how fucked it is, like, especially in Fallout 4 where raiders can make fucking power armor just that just works. Not just that raiders can make power armor, but there's plenty of suits out in the open fucking everywhere across the map. And, yep. sure, some of them are in cages. People would find a way to get those cages open, whether they hacked them, whether they actually destroyed the cage to get inside. That's not even counting those. So there are straight up sets of power armor they're just sitting there with nothing to stop you from getting in and start running around with it yep and no one has taken them in 200 years yep. over 200 years yep yeah well we know that's not the, that's not true Jen the derp you could you could argue that some of the robots are in EMP shielded bases or bunkers underground sure but you have Cogsworth or whatever his fucking name is. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he was not. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And there's robots in the glowing sea, which is just full of radiation. Yeah, and radiation, especially ionizing radiation, fucks electronics hardcore. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense, but I will agree that it is ridiculous for Fallout 4 to have working robots in power armor and yet nobody is really rebuilding anything there's just like isolated there's a couple of isolated settlements and like random farms around that don't have any kind of like linked structure to anything and that's it that that's literally all they've done in 200 years it's yeah. like yeah that's pretty fucked yep Heck, humanity could have rebuilt some level of infrastructure. Add to that the fact that there were pockets of Again, like we said, this is a problem with Bethesda's fallouts. In Fallout 1, 2, and 3, you best fucking believe the people that had the robots and the power armor were rebuilding and were the ones that dominated this new, this new uh, wasteland. I know you like to think of New Vegas as the real three, but we need, do need to make that distinction. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, this is just fucking insanity. It's Bethesda where nothing ever progressed, like, weirdly. But in Bethesda's world, it feels like only ten years passed since the bomb dropped. I could believe that. But no, in in 1, 2, and New Vegas, tons of progress has been made. Entire, entire societies and empires have risen. Society has adapted to the wasteland. Yeah.
people prepared for war. We all know that Fallout's Great War happened in October of 2077, but according to the Fallout Bible, the United States government was fully prepped for a nuclear attack from China eight months prior, back in March of 2077. Oh, I'll have to see where he's going with this. Sorry, I just had that my finger reflexively stopped. But yeah, where are you going with this? This was all done by the Enclave, consisting of the President of the United States and all the government and corporate officials who made up the secret shadow government pulling the strings behind the scenes. They retreated to remote sections around the globe and made contingency plans for continuing the war against the Chinese, operating under... Okay, uh, I hate that Bethesda fucked up the Enclave so bad. Alright, so the Enclave only had, originally, the oil rig and Navarro. That was it. And they specifically picked the other side of the fucking country because they knew Washington, D.C. was going to get obliterated by nuclear hellfire. They knew it was a prime target. There was no way they were going to let Washington, D.C. stand. I... And sure, yeah, they had a contingency plan beforehand. That doesn't mean it was the Enclave that specifically did it. It was the United States government with vault -Tec. They set up this plan because there had been constant conflict. And now China was threatening with nukes and America was threatening them back with nukes. It's like, it's not hard to think that maybe we should prepare for somebody actually, you know, saying fuck it and dropping the nukes. <laughs> the Enclave know all, including the script. But yeah, I don't think they wanted to keep fighting the Chinese. I don't think that was the encla ever the Enclave's goal. They wanted to rebuild the United States after the catastrophe. That was their goal. They probably realized there wouldn't be a China left after the war. There wouldn't be any other country left. Yeah. It's just, it's fucking weird. It's like, oh, and they were planning to take it back to China again. It's like, no. They, they're, and their goal, the president in Fallout 2 literally tells you the control vaults and everything were so that they could rebuild the United States of America. Suspiciously, a lot of Fallout 4 footage in this video is supposedly about the Fallout series. Yeah, it's weird that they wouldn't use any Fallout footage in a series, uh, in a video about Fallout. Yep. Um, Bethesda just hates the East Coast, simple as. No, it's the opposite. They love the East Coast because that's where they are, but they also yep. want to keep up the constant apocalypse setting. Like, you could still yeah. have a post-apocalypse setting and still have society progressing. We've seen this in New Vegas and Fallout 2. But they want the whole ruined wasteland, nothing is rebuilding at all, blah, 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 constantly. Yep. And that's what leads into this problem of nothing rebuilding. Because Bethesda never thinks that far ahead. Ever. Of course. Under the belief that as long as people of the U.S. survived, they could regroup quickly and wipe out communism once and for all. Well, that skipped a lot of that. Hold on. I just got important communism once and for all. So, yeah, we got to go back. All right. For continuing the war against the Chinese, operating under the belief that as long as the important people of the U.S. survived, they could regroup quickly and wipe out communism once and for all. And as we see in fall... Well, I mean, we do need to wipe out communism. That is that is a noble goal, in, just in general. But... That was never their goal. You get directly from the president's mouth what their goal actually is in Fallout 2. Yeah. To open up the control vaults, bring the unmutated people out, and rebuild the United States of America. There are no plans to go anywhere else. Their first instinct is to rebuild. There's no, like, grand thing, and, and then once we rebuild, we'll launch our armies across the world. No, 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 no. no. It's just to rebuild the United States. Fallout 2, the Enclave itself on the abandoned Poseidon Energy oil drilling platform off the coast of California. One that was fully protected from the nuclear firestorm of 2077. Fully protected? Wouldn't it just be out of range? Yeah, it was, it was off the coast. That was the, that was the point. They were out of the blast radius. If, if the nukes had hit the oil rig, then the oil rig wouldn't be there anymore. Kind of implied by the end of the game when the fucking oil rig blows up. Yeah, pretty easily, in fact. 
If this also, was... I, guess, I guess fuck Navarro, right? Navarro doesn't exist in Map Path's mind. Yeah. Um, if this was made after 76 came out, technically the Enclave did want to nuke China again. Is that really what they say? In... <sighs> like I said, Bethesda has fucked up the Enclave beyond belief. They fucked up everything in this series beyond belief. Yeah, they're just caricatures of what they were. Yeah, but this this was not made um, before or uh, after 76. This was made before because it was early 2017 when this came out. And when did 76 come out? 2018? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it was 2018. Because um, I, I made my channel near the end of... Uh, in October of 2018... Yeah, I think that is about when it came out. Clearly, they should have shipped to rain America back in, even in the wake of nuclear devastation. Then there's the... And save this too? Why are you pointing at New Vegas? Because New Vegas didn't exist when America was around, you dumb fuck. Because it's one of the locations where the games take place. Yeah, MatPat is so fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. Also, the Enclave had nothing to do with that. That was all Mr. House. That was all Mr. House. To Vegas. Yeah, so sh shut the fuck up, MatPat, you fucking retard. Seven. Clearly, they should have had the knowledge and leadership to rein America back in. Well, they also... He, he also calls it the Capital Wasteland. Oh, God, yeah, and the Commonwealth up there. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, see, I, I'm pretty sure they would have called that the Commonwealth of Boston anyways. No, uh, no, no, but he's, he's pointing it as a very specific location, which, no, that's not what Commonwealth meant, but okay. Yeah, the Commonwealth wasn't... Boston wasn't, in, like, anything special in the lore. It's just another place where stuff is happening. Um, he's clearly only highlighting this because these are areas where the games take place. Yep. He's also talking about they, they should have had the foresight to save America before the bombs fell. It's like, there were resource wars going on. How What were you going to do to stop the resource wars? Well, win the war. You need the resources. Also, wasn't the point of building the vaults and having to plan eight months in advance that this guy already mentioned, isn't that part of trying to save America? Oh, absolutely. But he's trying to conflate it that they should have been saving before the bombs fell and they could have given peace a chance or some bullshit probably <clears throat> yeah because i'm sure china would have totally just rolled over and stopped doing what they were doing if they just asked nicely yeah absolutely we know that their government is just totally reasonable even in our world um someone just pointed out uh on that map, it's implying Shady Sands isn't in California. Yeah, that's beyond California's border. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? I just realized where he put the new California Republic in Vault 18. What the fuck? 15. Um, Is that 15? Oh, my God. Okay, I need to make the video bigger then, because that looks like an 18. Yeah, it's hard for me to see, too. I just know it's Vault 15, because that's the approximate location to that from Shady Sands. Because Shady Sands was formed from some of the people who came from Vault 15. Yeah, it is 15. I did the scroll wheel to zoom in. Map hasn't... Oh no, I can't read that yet. I want it to <laughs> so bad. We, we, I know. We can read them out if they're relevant to what we're talking about. They'll just be read again at the end. Fair enough. Yeah, so uh, map has an IQ equal to the room temperature of Alaska. Well, there you go. <laughs> I agree. Brutal. It's not needing glasses. It doesn't help that he's got this fuzzy uh, thing across the United States. Yeah. Um, someone else said something in the chat, too. NCR would have taken Vegas before House even woke up looking at this map. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Vegas is not where it's supposed to be. The New California Republic's not where it's supposed to be. 
This is this is all all fucked beyond belief. The wake of nuclear devastation. Then there's the city of Las Vegas, or New Vegas in the games, which escaped the nuclear attack relatively unharmed thanks to Mr. House's defense system. A city oh, that could take its technology right. and serve as a new hub for growth and recovery of the country, but just doesn't really. And the but, but it, it does. does. It literally idiot. does. It's it's the it's literally the main plot point of the game. Yes. There's it's why everybody idiots. wants New Vegas. There are multiple factions trying to take New Vegas because of this exact fucking reason. Three major, and one faction. Three major factions, two of which are basically uh, empires in and of themselves. One is a man with a robot army, and the fourth option is the, the player taking over, who would also have the robot army. Um, <laughs> how the fuck do you... Literally seconds after I just said, oh, he got that right, that House defended the city. But then he's like, oh, yeah, nothing happened here. What? The fu- I, I- I'm sorry, I'm just at a bit of a loss, because how the fuck do you play New Vegas and come away from it thinking no one is rebuilding here? Yeah. Yeah, not to it mention, makes no sense. Not to mention, because Hoover Dam exists that in and of itself is a major fucking asset to any empire yes like, holy fuck but there is a yeah. reason the legion wants to take it and they don't just go around and attack new vegas itself or try to cut them off they need the dam the dam is fucking important yeah that's what i was telling uh Cree before the thing started because i wanted to mention this part before we started this thing but oh yeah that uh that the fucking the the Hoover Dam just completely destroys his entire argument. Like, not even just looking at New Vegas itself, which also completely destroys his argument, but the fact that the game is literally about taking the Hoover Dam so people can still have power throughout New Vegas. It's like, uh, how is that not infrastructure? That is literally infrastructure. What are you fucking talking about, you idiot? Oh, it... We have proper caravans now, not just like random caravans that operate on their own, but actual like companies where the caravans actually go through set routes and have an actual like hierarchy structure and a headquarters and all that stuff. It's like it they actually have proper. <sighs> it's just so annoying. It's they they are like they're clearly rebuilding. What do you mean? <laughs> Yep. The most basic, what like, this should be one of the first things you find out when you start researching the game. In fact, you can even have an entire section of this video talking about how New Vegas is rebuilding, and it's super duper fucking weird that Fallout 3 and 4 aren't. Yep. Yeah, exactly. But also, now we gotta tear down New Vegas, too. Can't, can't ever let the other ones get uh, too low. Really. And those are just two quick examples. In short, between the... St <laughs> those are just two quick examples. That you fucked up. Yeah. Congratulations, you idiot. Good job. What's the other example? I don't even remember his other example. City that could take its technology and serve as a new hub for growth and recovery of the country, but just doesn't, really. And those are just two quick... So where the fuck was the other example? To rein America back in, even in the wake of nuclear devastation. Then there's the city of Las Vegas, or... Wait, okay, so his other example <laughs> is the Enclave should have reigned in the United States, even in the wake of nuclear disaster. But that's That what was they his were... first example. That what? was his first example? Apparently so. I guess, yeah. But they tried. They, they literally tried. Are that's... You... MapCat is stu is too fucking stupid, okay? <laughs> he, he doesn't know that, that Fallout 3 and 4 come after the numbers 1 and 2. Come on, guys. You, you gotta understand. MapCat is mentally deranged and an idiot. Oh, man. So this also, is where I on. stopped hold after on. this argument where he said the New Vegas thing. That's where I quit and was like, yeah, no, this is terrible. 
Hold the fuck on. Why would you go after Fallout 2 in New Vegas when Fallout 3 and 4 are right there? They're as obvious as a fucking turd in a punch bowl. Uh, again, he doesn't know what actually happens in Fallout 2 in New Vegas, clearly. Yeah. He has just proven he has no idea what the Enclave actually want. He has no idea what Fallout 2 was even about or what happens in it. And then he just proved he has no idea what the fuck is in New Vegas or what the story was about or the fact that New Vegas rebuilding as an epicenter for part of the country is why two full empires are fighting to get New Vegas and Hoover Dam. No, I know that, but what I'm getting at is Fallout 3 and 4 are the more obvious... He... He... Mm. He's he not doesn't know that. He's... He doesn't know they're the more obvious one. Okay, but they... That, but still... due, due to not playing Fallout 2 or New Vegas, because he clearly hasn't played them, it he, he's used footage from Fallout 4 in this video already. That, mm -hmm. that, that should be the go-to one, because that's the most obvious. Like, okay, if I play, you know, um... I'm just trying to think of an example. Okay, if I play, uh, you know, Skyrim, and I take issue with the way some of the world building goes, I wouldn't say, well, in Arita and Daggerfall, they didn't do this, you know? Yeah. Because I haven't played those games. So referencing them would be dumb. Well, we already know MatPat is dumb, but yeah, still. Yeah, MatPat is an idiot. <laughs> Again. That's all we got to establish. He's an idiot, and he just proves himself to be more and more stupid as time goes on. Uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like he's played any of these other games. It feels like he read a short summary and then made huge assumptions about the stuff that he didn't read. Not even just, that. It almost, this is how he works. That's how he operates. It almost feels yeah. like he got his information from an overly long game of telephone. Like, someone summarizes the plots of Fallout 1, 2, 3, New Vegas, and 4, then they tell it to someone else, they tell it to someone else, on and on like a dozen times, two dozen times, then it gets the map pat in this completely fucked, mangled form. And that's what he based the video on. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely something going on here. Like, he either didn't play the games, or he really didn't pay attention if he did, because holy shit, if he actually says, oh yeah, I played all the games, it's like, did you pay no fucking attention? Yeah. <laughs> so, something's definitely fucked here, because he's not gotten hardly anything right so far. Other than, like, some of the dates... That's about it. Well, he managed to get that the Enclave had nothing to do with New Vegas, and it was the house that saved New Vegas. That was the only yeah. thing that he immediately, like, sh kicks himself in the back of the head and falls in a trench. It's like... Pfft. But they just don't rebuild. Or New Vegas in the game, clear attack relatively unharmed thanks to Mr. House's defense system. A city that could take its technology and serve as a new hub for growth and recovery of the country, but just doesn't, really. And those are just two- It's also explained why House doesn't do this immediately. It's because his systems were fucked for that long. Yeah. He couldn't do much until the, like, the recent years, and he can't do as much as he'd like to without the platinum chip. So yep. it's explained why- New Vegas isn't, like, a super powerhouse right away. And he also explains his fucking plans that as much as he doesn't want the, the Legion to take over because he doesn't feel like he can work with them, but maybe in time they'll become trade partners later. But what he sees with the NCR and why he he's more buddy-buddy and close to the NCRs is because it is an entire empire of customers for him. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, and even before uh, Mr. House came back online, there was rebuilding going on. It just wasn't to the same extent as what House was able to do. But there was some rebuilding going on. But there was also a lot of tribes. A lot of people went tribal and started doing tribal things instead, which kind of slowed progress down because, you know, when you're going to... If, if you're going to operate in a tribal society, you don't really care about technological advancement all that much. Matt Pat is that bad in all of his theories. Glad to see you dunk on that clown. Yeah, he is a clown. He just lost all his fucking makeup. Oh god, I'm gonna have to put Matt Pat in that picture. I gotta 
put a bunch of people in the picture, by the way. Oh, I forgot about the clown picture. Two quick examples. In the still operational technology, the preservation of pre-war knowledge found in places like New Vegas, and the still living world leaders in groups like the Enclave, in 200 years, the Fallout world should be in a much better condition. Well, it no. won't be, it won't be that state. Again, you had, you lose a lot of the ability and the means, and a lot of problems with society, is again, what have we learned today? How many people unironically think that food just appears in grocery stores these days? Do you have that problem where people lose sight of the basics? So you have to relearn the basics all over again. The thing is, Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas, they did that. Fallout 1, people started relearning the basics and rebuilding and slowly started expanding back and realizing what was possible because all this old world technology was still around. Fallout 2, we see the rise of a full-on empire. The NCR begins its birth. The, in or, the NCR is now a force to be reckoned with. It is now an actual state, a society within the wastelands. They have learned production. They have rebuilt an army. They've done boot camps and training. They have farmers and caravans going. Hell, the NCR are actually instrumental in destroying the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel, mind you. But yeah, again, we see that they are progressing, but you got to start back over at square one. You'll have those people, like preppers and stuff like that, who will know these things instinctively. And they'll be better off than the people that are like, I have a degree in gender studies and bombs fell. I'm going to be, I'm so useful in the apocalypse. Why is everybody looking at me? Well, it's because you're the first one to be eaten when we all run out of food, asshole. There's also the whole resource war thing that was going on before the bombs dropped. It would absolutely mm -hmm. impact uh, people's ability to rebuild. Absolutely. than where it's at in the game. California Republic is about as close as he gets. It's a dollar backed by... The new California Republic is as close as it gets. I guess just fuck the Legion, right? Fuck the, the, the other empire that is, that is a functional uh, democracy. Do air quotes on that because he has leadership and local leadership and everything. It has their own currency and everything. Just No, just fuck them, though. Currency supported by water reserves. That's what the that's what backed the caps in the original game. But I thought the new California Republic found another way to support the currency besides water. Yeah, because they attacked the gold. They uh, attacked the gold caravans from the Brotherhood. Right. That's what I remember being mentioned before. Yeah, and that's that's the only reason why um, Father Elijah thinks gold is valuable at all because it wouldn't be valuable. In a society, you know, that's all based on water, right? Right. Yeah, no, I know. It's the whole thing where people don't realize what a republic is and what people realize a democracy is. That's why I did the air quotes on democracy. Like, people think the United States is a democracy. It isn't. It's a, it's a constitutional republic. Yeah. And, and the thing is, you know, the NCR, they want to move away from caps they want to go back to paper money which doesn't have really any backing to it it's literally just we say it has value so therefore you will treat it as such whereas the legion at least has the metals their coins actually have value because of what they're made of yeah How about the republic of dave oh fuck off <laughs> uh. <laughs> I hate Republic what an empire. so much. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. What a thriving society the Republic of Dave is. They're <laughs> backed by water reserves and everything, but let's be honest, how successful is it really when it can't even manage to kill a bunch of dudes wearing skirts and wielding knives? Which God, it's this fucking argument again. Fuck off. Okay, so, MatPat, I'm gonna blow your fucking mind. The British, at the height of their empire, decided to extort the Zulu nation. 
the Zulus, who don't wear any body armor at all, who have ox hide covered shields and use spears. The Zulu wiped out the fucking British. And then, of course, going against orders, the Zulu then attacked a, uh, a Swedish outpost that a lot of the British, uh, what few survivors could make it back to, were huddled up in. But yeah, then, then they lost that because they weren't supposed to attack it. But again, you have the British with muskets and cannons, grenades and rockets against the Zulu tribes and they got fucking massacred. Yeah. It, he doesn't seem to understand that like things like swords and knives and spears are relatively easy to create and mass produce compared to guns, which the NCR straight up says that they actually have trouble outfitting their soldiers in armor and weapons because they don't have the means to make enough of them to give to their troops. The Legion doesn't have that problem. They give their fucking people armor and weapons with no issue because they can remake because they can make so much of it. They're effective, they work, and also they do use guns. Yeah. They, they do, do use, use guns. guns. It's yeah. It's not literally just the entire army only uses nothing but melee weapons. No, they have guns. They it's have just snipers, they have SMGs, so, something, they have shotgunners. Something I want to yes. mention right now. If you ever see someone using the argument that the Legion only uses melee weapons, only uses knives and swords, that they don't ever use guns, call them out for not playing the fucking game because clearly they haven't. Yeah. Yep. Because trust me, when you get jumped by, by assassins from the Legion and they're mm -hmm. all wielding fucking pump-action shotguns and rifles and... And SMGs and shit, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's it, it goes by ranks. The lower yes. rank you are, the less likely you are to have a gun. The higher rank you are, the more likely you are to have better equipment. Yep. Even to the point where the Praetorian Guard actually have uh, power fists and everything. But yep. I need to do something. Dudes wearing skirts and wielding knives. Ah, oh, damn, he doesn't show the full thing. This knife is, like, really hurting my fucking tism. I don't know who made it, but... Mm, the way it's all, something. like, fucked up, the blade? No, no, the blade is fine. It, that's that, it's, it's a really shitty pattern, but that is welded pattern steel. Okay. Um, and then what you do with that is you have multiple layers of steel of different types. So you'll have your, your steel A and then steel B, steel A, steel B, steel A, steel B. You then heat them all together so that they will forge weld together. you got to make sure they're clean, by the way. Um, they'll forge weld together. And then when you grind it and you acid etch it, this has definitely been acid etched. You don't get this look naturally. So this has been acid etched. Um, it will show the different patterns. And so what people do with that, instead of just getting flat lines and everything, they'll actually put twists in it, or you'll drill some holes here, and when that flattens out, it'll make little, like, raindrops along it and everything. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. But this is a, just a really bad pattern, and this handguard is rough. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That the, and then the and the handle is fucked because you look at the pommel and the pommel doesn't even work to keep your hand on the, the weapon. It's just it's just a cap at the very end of it. And look how off center it is and like yep. Oh, it, lo it looks like it's falling off. It looks so bad. Oh, that handle is yeah. fucking with me right now. The it blade like isn't rich. is fine. I it looks like shit. They they clearly didn't do a very good job with the pattern. I've yeah. seen some really good ones, man. You can make those patterns look amazing, mm -hmm. but it not not that gray hair. But the fucking handle, oh my god! <laughs> Fact, um, we don't need to pause for it. I'll be looking for it, but I'm going to look for. It. There's this one pattern. It is ludicrously difficult to make, and medieval smiths made this, and it's just like holy mother of god! It is gorgeous. So this 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 pat this blade it, it's an okay it's okay that's all it is. There's a lot of annoying things about it, like that again that fucking pommel at the end to keep everything in. It's just and the handle just hurt. looks like a very cheap piece of plastic. Well, it's definitely a wood. It's a wood that's been stained and everything, and he's got mosaic pins in it. 
So it's not that's not bad. It's just there's there are just things that are wrong and off with this. Anyways, we good to continue? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Is that the problem holding the wasteland back isn't external, but internal. It's the citizens, the people themselves that are stalling this progress and recovery. Let me explain. Yeah, okay, you definitely have to explain that, because if anything we see, and once again, when it comes to, um, when it comes to Fallout 1 to New Vegas... People clamor for progress. They want progress. Because with progress comes comfort. When you have to do everything yourself, you're always miserable. But even the most basic thing, just a small comfort, brings a lot to people. Um, if you ever see a, a channel called Primitive Technology, fantastic channel. The only actual legitimate Primitive Technology channel there is, by the way. Yeah. He, he had one where... He was showing like how he had to deal with fire and how long it took him to get fire hot enough to make a kiln and everything like that to for clay and everything. And instead, what he did was he made a blower. And this is technology. People don't realize that it's like this is all technology. Your axe is technology. Your your pickaxe technology. Your knife is technology. All of that's technology. Your clothes are technology. People have this weird thing where it's, it has to have wires and circuits to be called technology. No, that is all technology. But anyways, he makes this blower and instantly, instantly speeds up the entire process, is much, much um, softer on his body and everything. He doesn't have to constantly sit there and fan everything. He just spins the blower and the blower does its natural work and heats up the fire for him so that he can actually forge metal now, which is fascinating. Him, him real showing how to get actual natural iron from just the uh, rivers and everything. This is what I mean by he's the only genuine primitive technology channel. Cause he goes through step by step and it shows the process of everything. How, how the fuck do you get iron from a river? Well, you look for for sand that has iron particulate in it. Iron will rust specifically, so you'll have sand that's a specific color. So you use that and filter it, and he shows how to make the filters and everything like that by hand. And it filters over it. You take those little iron particles, and you put it in a crucible, and you heat it up and let the iron melt together. Yeah. Yeah, here's a, here's a knife that actually has proper like patterns and stuff made into it with like copper and um yeah it looks steel. a lot better god all those fake primitive technology channels piss me off yeah absolutely the ones that use like backhoes and everything like that like they actually use all the like Digging modern digging equipment and everything to do it. Oh, just, I like the debunking fake. video. It's like you can't get cement from a river. Water and dirt just makes mud. Yeah. Then you see primitive technology when he's like, "Here is how I get. Here's how I get cement." And then he goes and he shows and he gets clay and everything. And then he takes the ash from his fire and he works the ash from his fire into the clay to make this new material. It is fascinating. Yeah. I like how in that debunking one, you could literally see that, like, the track treads from, like, backhoes and stuff. And it's like, motherfucker, you didn't even try to hide that. Holy shit. Yeah. What, could, what criteria do you use to qualify which channels are fake? Genuine question. There's at least one video out there. There's probably more talking about how a lot of these primitive technology channels are fake. The answer yeah. is... Most of them are, but the the one guy in Australia is legit. Yep. And the and the way that you do it is again, he the guy from Australia even says like I give you a step by step process of how to do all of these things. If you can follow exactly what I'm doing and get the same result, well, it's real then, isn't it? Yeah. And then he points yeah. out like I instead, why don't you go to a river, put some put some mud in your bucket and make cement. Yeah, it's not going to happen. what these primitive channels do. Yeah. yeah. The one I saw in particular, these um, these two guys, they dig a hole and they start building this, like, 
overly elaborate fancy house in it with a sand roof and uh they they have a little pool in their hole with no drainage and uh that water is way more blue than it should be that is not what water looks like naturally yeah um, they died they died the shit up but anyways yeah they they had this like overhang that was made of sticks and sand and uh they made it look like really good looking all of its bullshit all of it yep oh man that the the fucking after photos of when they abandon these projects and people find them and shit and it's just like oh they look so fucking disgusting after mm. like because they don't even like like drain the water or anything they just leave it and you just get these nasty fucking pools of like green water with waste in it and shit and like plastic and it's like oh what the fuck the fake channels usually try to be impressive the real ones are more practical yeah yes if you see so if you ever see if you ever see somebody try to make like a mansion like primitive technology we only use we make a mansion out of mud and everything like that you know it's fake anything elaborate in any way like yeah one of them had a uh, a slide into a pool that looked like a giraffe that's obviously fake um there there's others here we go this is this is it this is called the uh, Sutton Wu sword the what the Sutton Wu and look at that pattern when it when it's all cleaned up and everything look at that pattern at the bottom hold on that is fucking gorgeous. The amount of work that went into making that pattern is ludicrous. So is that an old sword they found and, like, restored? Mm hmm They, they, because you could tell what the pattern was. What they did was, you can run it along. See, you can see in the rust, right? You can see the pattern still, even in the, in the old sword. Yeah. And this is what the pattern looks like when they recreate the sword and everything. It's just fucking gorgeous. And keep in mind, this was a medieval smith that did this. Hmm. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that also, we'll, we'll read your donation. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we will read your donation at the end on Glaive Emily. Yeah. We're, we're ignoring basically everyone's during the streams now because we not, don't want to get off topic too much. Not ignoring them, we're just... Relevant ones to what we're talking about, we'll read when they come up, if, if we catch them. Otherwise, they're yeah, all yeah. being read at the end. Yeah. And it's just so, because we're already going to go tangent heavy as it fucking is, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Although we are getting through yeah, this you video find... a lot faster than I thought we would be. Yeah. <laughs> you could find plastic in nature now? No, that's the thing. They, it, because they're using modern equipment and stuff and, like, bags of cement and shit wrapped in plastic they don't clean any of that stuff up they just leave all the trash there at the site and then they move to a new one and go yep. do it over there so they just they just pollute the area they just make these really stupid fucking projects that they lie about and then they leave all the trash that they use to make it there so there's just plastic and bags and barrels and all kinds of random shit just all over the area that they just leave there yep uh Someone in chat, uh, Mockvolt, I, I hope I pronounced that right, said, show the Sutton helmet. Um, okay. Just getting an image for it now. <clears throat> yeah, if that, holy shit. Copy image. That is a pretty elaborate helmet. Absolutely. fucking Hold on, it's just gonna take a little bit to, um get the image up because it's loading into discord right now and as we've learned google links will just outright fucking crash obs so stream is chugging a little probably because i'm sending these guys a picture uh see if that works kree i, I got one pasted that's in. the exact one yeah, yeah, yeah. i would just figure <laughs> since it was taking yours a while maybe you were having some kind of hiccup so yeah hold on why didn't it okay there we go That's a big image, holy shit. Yeah, I noticed that too, guys. Yeah, the stream is buffering a lot. This was apparently made by Medieval Smith, which, holy shit. Yep. Again, there's that... 
there's a fantastic video that uh, Shadowversity did where SciShow was doing their usual racist bullshit about how like medieval smith, you know, medieval European smiths were stupid and everything like that. It was really only the Asians and the the um, um, uh, Arabic smiths were the only ones that uh, had any intelligence whatsoever and stuff like that. And it's just like, oh god. But Shad goes through and explains in detail about how they learned all these things and would actually figure out uh, the the color, the way metal looks. So when you heat up metal, it'll go through different shades and hues of color. And that is how hot the metal actually is. And you need specific shades and hues to properly forge your metal. It was just fascinating what, what old blacksmiths could do. Yeah. <laughs> Cursed helmet is crashing the stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not on yeah. screen anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot In order for lot of it needs a rational, law-abiding citizen. Country might just get up tomorrow and murder 20 people or decide they're not beholden to basic laws. Chances are you're looking at what's called a failed state. It's basically the purge move. <laughs> Hmm. Topical. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feel, Democrats? You voted for this. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing a lot of chugging. The internet's doing a ton of chugging. I'm just getting constant, like, it'll work and then it'll do the refresh thing again, over and over again. Oh, uh, YouTube for you? Yep. Yep. I am getting real sick of this shit. Basic level, the primary role of government is to sustain a system of trust, what's known as the social contract. We sacrifice some personal freedoms for a state of protection. You can walk outside. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Uh, no. No, no, no. No, that is, that is how we get authoritarian fascism. No, 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 no. You do not sacrifice any of your personal freedoms. You should never sacrifice any of your personal freedoms. What the state is supposed to do is supposed to allow you to do things that one person cannot do on their own, right? Who's going to build the roads and everything? Well, one person can't do it, so what if we form a collective? Well, we need to pay for people to work on this and everything, so we'll make sure we have money going through the system and everything. You know, you have these systems that slowly progress up to where government is supposed to be. Government is supposed to help maintain the law of the land so that people are safe. But that it doesn't mean you give up any freedoms you have. You're free to do what you want as long as it doesn't break the law, it doesn't violate the law. And laws should be sensible things. Like, if you try to, you've killed somebody. Well, clearly, that's not okay. You violated their personal freedom, so now you're in trouble. You stole from someone. Well, that was their personal property, and therefore it's their freedom. It's their their property, their I, their identity. What the fuck? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just stick with it's their property. So again, you're violating their personal freedoms. Hold on, that guys. I can't do anything about the dropped frames. Uh, there's nothing I can do. Nothing. I'm sorry. I don't want it to be like this, but my internet is shit. I, there, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you you started to cut out there as well, Cree. Yeah, you were going to Robani for a bit. Mm. Yeah, refreshing didn't work for me either. It's just going, it's just constantly... Uh, it worked for a bit, and then it died again for me. Guess I'm calling up the internet company yet a fucking again after the stream. Yep. ...and your neighbor won't head at you with a shoulder-mounted slingshot. But in the world of Fallout, it's hard to feel safe when the Joneses next door are amassing a human skull collection on their front porch. The basic glue of society... Again, 
That is more so in Fallout 3 and 4. Um, and I won't say 76 because this video came out before 76. Um, plus 76 has the caveat that it's supposed to be right after the, the battle, right after the war. But in Fallout 1 and 2, Fallout 1, you'll see this a bit more, but in 2, that's kind of gone away as society stabilizes itself and pushes, every, pushes all these raiders out. New Vegas still has the problem because the NCR is so spread thin, they don't have the manpower to deal with raider groups and everything. Especially when they've got the cons and everything to worry about, and now the Legion, of course, attacking their front doorstep. MatPat doesn't but, understand government. MatPat doesn't understand anything, clearly. Yeah, no, he doesn't understand anything at all. But then you have, um, in this in, in this instance, too, especially, um, what, what can the NCR do? They don't have the manpower to do this. But those areas that are safe, being inside the city of New Vegas is very safe, to an extent, unless you go in a, a certain casino. Yeah, we see that there are areas that are obviously safe, and society and people flourish there. And you see there are areas that aren't safe. And, you know, are there a bunch of people there? No. Majority of its citizens be of sound mind. But in the wasteland, that might not be scientifically possible. And the biggest reason for it is in the title of the game, Fallout. The lingering radiation from the bombs that were dropped during the Great War. Oh man, I So you're saying the bombs make everybody stupid. So what's your excuse, Matt Pat? <laughs> <laughs> um is radiation known for making people stupid? I know it's known radiation for fucking has, killing them. Radiation has tons of different things. I, I haven't heard of any of the side effects being you get dumber. It's like, even with acute radiation poison, you don't get really dumber. Your, your body disintegrates. Yeah. Yeah. Your brain will shut down eventually, but it's not like... It doesn't usually go from like, oh, you are a smart person to a dumb person to your brain shutting down. It's usually just one minute or like one day you're fine or you can at least speak and think fine. Then the next day you're your brain dead. So he's literally just pulling this out of his ass. Yes, this is definitely out of his ass. Yeah, the stream is definitely way far behind now. There's nothing I can do about it. Like, I don't... It's extremely frustrating. I am so tired of it. I am so fucking... There's nothing I can do. Well, I think, I think because this has been a constant problem, we should seriously consider me or Pagan hosting the stags. I guess. We should march on Kree's ISP and petition them for a redress of grievances. Well, I'm going to call them again and see if we can... Because, again, we've been doing this for over a year. I've been living at the same place since we started. And it wasn't this bad when we started. It's only gotten progressively worse over time. Absolutely. That moment that you realize the game's title is referring both to nuclear fallout as well as the fact that the game literally explores the fallout or after effects of a nuclear war. Well done, Bethesda. Uh, well done, Bethesda? No, well done, fuck Bethesda? you. Bethesda fuck has you. nothing to do with fallout. Piss off. Okay, one, the fact that he's only just now getting the fucking fallout thing, the fact that he's only just now understanding that it, it's not meant to always be literal fallout it's supposed to be the figurative as well but the fact that he's now applying it to fucking bethesda does they the, didn't create the name 
Does he think they did? Does he think they made Fallout 1 and 2? I mean, he just said New Vegas doesn't fucking rebuild at all, including society, so... Yeah, yeah he... Again, I have this to is assume Matt... he's that stupid. Yes, Matt Pat is that stupid. A clap and a half to anyway when people talk about radiation they typically focus on the physical effects associated with exposure the horrific deformities and tumors the classic fish with three eyes but even more terrifying are okay the fish with three eyes thing is fictional well we do see in radioactive areas like earthworms that grow to a ludicrously high size near chernobyl um, animals that grow two heads like that. We do see that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not that the kind of happen. stuff that they would survive with for an extended period of time, would it? Like two heads? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. There was a giant mutant catfish in the river next to Chernobyl that apparently had been there for many, many years, and it it was fucking freaky looking. Yeah. I think it inspired really? a yeah, horror movie. Yeah, yeah, so long as they can still gain sustenance, so long as they can still eat and shit and do everything the body normally needs to do, having an extra appendage here and there wouldn't actually affect it all that much. It's not so much the whole extra appendage thing, it's more the fuck the fact that the DNA is so fucked as to grow an extra head, then what else is fucked inside them that will prevent them from living too long? Well, yeah, exactly. And clearly not not a lot else. Oh. Hmm. Are the permanent effect can have on our brains? Studies have linked to learning and memory impairment, and survivors of the Chernobyl disaster. In I'm definitely gonna need a citation needed there, especially for MatPat of all people. But even yeah. if, but even assuming he's true, there's a difference between learning and memory impairment issues and. I'm gonna fucking murder Joe because I can. Yeah. If anything, the whole problem with all the raiders and everything, which seems to be what he's alluding to, it's because they're fucking druggies, not because they're fucked in the head from radiation. Absolutely. And, spoiler, people who... Not everyone who does drugs is a violent, like, weirdo, but some of them do get violent because they need their fix. They need the money to get more drugs. And of course, there, there are things like um, meth rage and everything like that. Shit that happens at, while you're on these drugs. It happens in the real world. Of course, it's going to happen in the Fallout world, too. Especially course, when there, one of the drugs is it. literally called Psycho. Yeah, exactly. Uh, be right back one second. Alrighty. Yeah, again, I might as well just type it in chat, too. But there's nothing I can do about the dropped frames or, like... It is beyond my control. You do get dumber when your brain melts. Well, I think you probably just start dying a little bit more when your brain melts. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you lose some IQ and forget things and all that stuff, but at the rate that radiation usually goes, it's it's usually literally like one day you're fine, the next day you're brain dead. Yeah. It's not going to turn you into a violent psychopath. It's going to turn you into a potato. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, it doesn't just dissolve your brain. It's going to dissolve the rest of your body as well. You're not going to be fit enough to hold a gun and shoot at people and all this other shit and charge people with a sledgehammer and all this shit. Like, that just isn't going to happen yeah. with radiation. You're you're going to be fucking lying in a bed dying. Welcome back. Yeah. Chernobyl disaster, in which a nuclear reactor basically blew up and launched radiation into the air for nine days, were basically blew up. Basically blew up, okay. You have no idea how it happened at Chernobyl either, do you, Matt Pat? So the bombs dropped on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they basically blew up. 
They they kind yeah. of they kind of sort of exploded. They possibly this... might have put out some radiation. There's the potentiality that they might have killed someone. Yeah. Basically blew up. Oh no, yeah. It, it it basically had a little bit of a tizzy there where it was so powerful of a fucking explosion. It threw off the what was 20 ton or 30 ton fucking lid off the top of the reactor blew out an entire side of the fucking building. Yeah, I know, it basically blew up. What a dumb motherfucker. <clears throat> to the Kree of 20 minutes from now, I hold you personally responsible for your bad internet and mine. Okay, see, here's <laughs> the thing. I saw that message as soon as it popped up. It's not to the Kree of 20 minutes from now because the chat is still live for me. Maybe Battery you'll hear critical. It. Battery critical. Maybe you'll hear it in about 20 minutes. But uh, hopefully not. Why not just save the video for another time? Because this is still being recorded and could be re-uploaded to the side channel. The re-upload channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thankfully. For up to five... ...lead to suffer from schizophrenia. Now, schizophrenia often have persecution delusion. Why is your represent representation of schizophrenia guy's eye getting bigger and smaller? Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, and and why are you automatically lumping people with schizophrenia as the equivalent of Raiders and Fallout? I'm sorry, yeah. but no. The, yeah. the Raiders and Fallout are just retarded. They're it's not schizophrenia, it's literally just bad writing. Fuck off. You are just a piece of shit. Yeah. And again, like we've already established, the fucking radiation does not slowly make you into a crazy person. You literally will be dying on the bed, able to think one day, and then the next day you're just going to be fucking brain dead. Mentioning that people suffering from schizophrenia often have... Per Th this, this image is bugging the fuck out of me. Execution delusions. They're convinced that somebody or something is out to get them. It could be the government, aliens, Illuminati, whatever. And the people we see wandering around the Fallout Wasteland exhibit these same symptoms. They're convinced that the Institute is- Because they are, you idiot! Yeah, the Institute- Oh, fuck. Okay. You fucking idiot. Part of schizophrenia and paranoid delusions is that they're delusions! A paranoia. They think people are after them. In Fallout 4, which is the only one where this, this even remotely becomes applicable, people are actually out to get them. They are genuinely out to get them. Yes. The Institute is an actual fucking thing that actually goes after people and kills people. The now, fuck are you what, talking about? What could have been very fucking interesting is when you break into the Institute and realize it's abandoned, empty, nobody's there. And this was all, like, all the people that they thought were synths, like, this gets into a whole different storyline, but all the people they thought were synths were actually real people. That would have been fascinating to explore. But they didn't do that. The Institute is 100% real. Also, yeah, I don't remember any genuinely paranoid or crazy people in any of the games besides Fallout 4. The most you get is, like, incredibly stupid people, like, um, that woman in Arafu who's like, Oh, do you have the Fall Catalog? Like, I, I, even that is, like, what the fuck, Bethesda, that is beyond stupid. But, I don't believe, oh, hold on, there is one crazy guy in Fallout 3 that I remember who's ranting about the worm that's apparently eating his brain or something. Um, but even then, that's not... That's not this. And one example of a game with hundreds of people? Come on. Yeah. It is out to get them. Take agents of the railroad in Fallout 4 swears that the Institute poisoned the air and launched the nukes that started the Great War. And okay, that's not a paranoid fucking schizophrenic delusion. That's literally just a, a conspiracy theory. That's yep. all it is. It doesn't make you a crazy person. 
Well, to be the, fair, the, the character, fucking institute, the character he is showing is a bit of a crazy weirdo, but that's well, his yes, entire but, characterization. Yeah. Yeah, but this is not like applicable to what he's trying to say, though. No, yeah, because no, the no. institute no. actually is a threat. They, for all they know, they actually could have caused the war. Like they don't know. Yeah. God, don't make us defend these fucking pricks, please. Throughout these games, again, we encounter multiple characters preoccupied with their own delusions and conspiracy theories. Ghosts. Kame ghosts. Would... <laughs> okay, now here's the thing. I forgot about This no doesn't bark. have any... There, yeah, but do, do you know? Do you understand why this is fucked? Why he's using... Uh, how using no bark is completely fucking stupid for because his Because he's not violent. He's not crazy due to radiation. He's... Yeah. It he literally explains that he got stung in the head by a rad scorpion and that's what fucked him up. Yeah. It has nothing to do with radiation. Yeah, also it was the fucking venom that was injected directly into his fucking skull. Yeah. Also, what we he just showed a few characters there. Um Elder Maxon, who is twenty years old by the way. Um one of the uh, the scientist lady that's uh, in the bunker across from I forget the name of the place. It starts with a C. Uh, it's that one shitty location where they're paranoid about synths. Um, but again, both of them hate the synths because of what they are. They could discuss like they believe that the synths are made to infiltrate and take down um, the different communities or factions. Which, by the way. They fucking are. The mayor of Diamond City is a synth. The Institute used the synth to get into the, um... Uh, th there's, like, a group trying to start a unified government in the Commonwealth. Uh, the CPG, the Commonwealth Provisional Government, that's it. They sent a synth to that meeting to kill everyone so the government wouldn't get started. These people are not paranoid because they're fucked in the head by radiation. They're paranoid based on fucking history. Why are you making me defend Fallout 4, you fucking cunt? Fuck you! Yeah. don't know their day or we meet journalists who are convinced that the institute is replacing humans with synthetic versions of themselves the they they literally which are. they are they, they literally are you fucking retard that's not being that's not having paranoid delusions that is accepting reality for what it is because the institute is absolutely doing that on purpose oh my god i'm, I'm at a fucking loss here how did we get into the position of defending Fallout 4 because someone is that insufferably fucking retarded that they're actually like... Yeah. I hate that we literally can't use the fucking... We can't use the argument anymore of like, oh, you can't write characters this stupid because nobody in reality is actually this fucking stupid. No, no, they're, they're, yeah, they are. It's actually fairly common. Matt Pat is proof of that. Condition where you feel that your friends aren't who they say they are is a well documented delusion called Capgrass delusion. It doesn't matter what it is when you're fucking wrong. Yeah, it it doesn't matter because this is actually what's happening. They are genuinely being replaced. The institute this is one of the institute's goals. It is exactly what they are doing. That is not a delusion at all. This fucker is like the ultimate fucking poser. Like, holy shit, how do you talk about a game series and not know a fucking single thing about it? Uh, okay, sure, he got he got it correct earlier that House defended the city of Vegas with his uh, defense system. But to get the... Fallout 4 fucking beats you over that. You see, and this motherfucker has used an image of Nick Valentine in this fucking video. Who is a synth? Motherfucker. 
God, I am so fucking frustrated. I'm so fucking frustrated right now. I this is just insane. I don't even know what to fucking say anymore. Like, how can you be this retarded? Yep. It's Matt. He's gonna I, get dumber. I know it's Matt Pat. I know he's gonna get dumber, but these are like extremely basic things he's getting wrong. It'd be like doing a video about, I don't know, Star Trek The Next Generation and saying Worf is the captain and Picard is uh, the engineering, uh, the head of engineering and, and Jordy and that, LaForge and, is the fucking security officer. And that Picard is a Romulan. Yeah. And that Worf is a, is a um, Cardassian. Yeah. <laughs> I like that we both went to the same example. Yep. And Data, he's a uh, Vulcan. Yeah. God. That's why he's so smart and has so little emotion. God, I am just... This is pathetic. This is embarrassing. This is insanity. The railroad's password is railroad. That's when I checked out Fallout 4's story. Yeah. Absolutely. That's where a lot of people check out, I think. There's there's a few places in that game where you uh, you could check out. Preferably before you buy it. In this delusion, people that someone has been replaced by an imposter that your mother isn't actually your mother, but instead a perfect robotic replica falls squarely into the definition of a Capgrass delusion. And what's a common cause for- But- it's, But it's it not! Because it's real! The, uh, the Institute is absolutely doing that! They are correct! Those are robots! You meet a few people that have been replaced by synths. The mayor is a synth. Um, Roger Warwick is a synth who replaced the original Roger Warwick. Um, that's actually one of the things that really bugs me about, um, um, fucking killing the mayor of Diamond City in that one quest, is if you have, uh, Hancock as a companion, he's actually the mayor's brother, and Hancock is like, oh yeah, I'm, I, it's sad to know that our relationship ended this way, that, well, he, he's sad about it, even though, dude, he's a synth. Don't you have any reaction to that? That your real brother has probably been dead for years? Yep. Common cause for Capgrass delusion? You guessed it. Radiation poisoning. Now, Fuck yes, off. I know, as we play fall- oh, You're fucking you, idiot. You oh my god, wait. Is he actually gonna you, undermine his own point here? Hold you aren't about to do this. All out, it's pretty obvious that the Institute is actually replacing people with sins. And then you fucking, so you you fucking, fucking retard. Therefore, it's not a delusion, is it? You fucking idiot. Oh my god. So that whole segment was completely fucking pointless. Literally yep. no reason to even go through all that because you know that they're fucking actually replacing people with sins. Oh, you fucking idiot. Yep. God, I I hate this guy so fucking much. That a sh exists and plans on killing everyone. And yeah, we even encounter aliens that we can kill and loot, and motherships that we can explore across different games in the franchise. Fall yeah, th those were something Bethesda did that shouldn't be there. The alien thing was an Easter egg in Fallout One. They yep. they should not have been made canon. Yeah, that was an incredibly dumb, dumb idea. Fallout gives a reason to disbelieve the events that we see, but all of these are incredibly similar to common paranoid delusions that come with schizophrenia. So you are you trying to argue that the player in all these games is crazy and schizophrenic? 
is I, I think I have an unfortunate feeling that that is exactly where we're going. See, this is the oh same theory that is applied to a lot of games. The whole, oh, it was just in it, not just games, but movies and TV shows and everything. Oh, it was all just in his head. It was all just an imagination. I fucking despise that theory so much. Especially when there's a period of time where everyone was applying it to everything. Not literally everyone, but you know what I mean. It is the most stupid and lazy fucking theory to apply to anything. You have to ask yourself if you really trust the narratives coming from the protagonists of these games. In Kill yourself. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> so specifically, the player in Fallout 1 and Fallout 4 are people who come from a vault, or were pre-war, or both, um, who do not have this background radiation affecting them. They, they did not get, in, it, like, infected by the bombs or anything. And also, again, just the whole, it was in your head the whole time, fuck off. Fuck yeah, off. Yeah, seriously, fuck off. I feel like he's going to try and make some argument that, like, your character in Fallout 4 wasn't actually, like, pre-war or anything like that. It's just something that your character invented in his head from the radiation or some shit. Soul Survivor. I mean, in the intro to Fallout 4, your character supposedly just misses the shockwave from the bomb, but radiation travels at the speed of light. Okay, so he is actually right about that. I did, yes. I did forget about that because that moment is so stupid. I try to eject it from my mind every time it's not immediately in front of me, but it is there. Um, but I think I was right. I think he, I think that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to argue that. Okay, um, so what about the, the whole... player in Fallout 1 then? He doesn't know what Fallout 1 player is. He doesn't know Fallout 1 at all. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm on the bed. I, I... He... I forgot, the games start where he started playing them, so if, if Fallout 4 is his first game, then none of the games exist before that. Yep. On Matt yep. Pat's one. You ain't done. The moment the sole survivor essentially got a huge dose of radiation straight to the brain before being frozen for 200 years. This compounded with witnessing the murder of his wife, the kidnapping of his child, and the collapse of all civilization? That's enough to drive pretty much anyone crazy. So you gotta ask yourself, as you're playing these games, how reliable are the events that you're with? So none of that happens to the character in Fallout 1? The Vault Dweller. Two? The character, the courier, like the courier gets shot. We didn't see his wife get killed. Yeah, but he you know this absolute radiation. fucking melon is going to assume that oh, the play, the character, the player character in Fallout Two, Three, and New Vegas were all out in the wasteland, so they've got radiation, which means they're fucked in the head too, in the very specific way that causes this exact illusion. That means all the narratives are fucking bullshit. <laughs> Okay. Whatever. What what an insane fucking take. Yep. God. Witnessing how tr perceptions of these narrators watching the God, world stop, collapse. Stop so showing that fucking image of the eye getting bigger and smaller. It's pissing me off. That's well, of the course, other he, major he's an problem. Retard. So he has to. His mind. Crazy people do the eye twitch thing, so he's got to do it. Because again, MatPat is a moron. Yeah, I get the impression that if society were to collapse into like a post-apocalypse state, MatPat wouldn't be the first one to die in the apocalypse. He'd die before the fucking apocalypse. Yeah, that's how fucking inept he is. Yep. And keep in mind, you can do an. Uh, if your character is not a reliable narrator. You can do that. You can have multiple flashbacks and stuff like that, and where or people second guess your character. You're playing it's like, no, that didn't actually happen, and then they like tell you what did happen, and like, yeah, but I killed Samuel, and then Samuel walks in. He's like, 
what are you talking about? And stuff like that. You know, there's there's stuff you can do like that. You can hints like that to show that you, the character, are not reliable. Yeah, and you could do really interesting stories with that. You could also make Amnesia Rebirth with that. Oh, don't, God, yeah. Don't make Amnesia Rebirth. Um, that's something that I believe Dry Complimentary can back me up on now. How truthful are the perceptions of these narrators? Speaking of losing your loved ones and watching the world collapse, that's the other major problem with rebuilding society in Fallout. PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. Living in the wasteland and seeing people you know regularly getting butchered by death claws and raiders ain't gonna be too good for your mental health, radiation poisoning, or no. In fact, we know from similar real-life disasters that anywhere between 25 and 75% of survivors can suffer from PTSD. In Fukushima, so, Japan, where an Earth... So PTSD doesn't turn you into, like, a useless wreck that can't do anything ever? Like, for some people, it can make you fucking not do anything, but it's not going to make you entirely useless. But PTSD doesn't make you dumber? That too. Uh, Satch, anything to say on this? Well, as somebody who has PTSD, uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> are, are you telling me that PTSD didn't make you entirely useless and unable to do anything ever? No. But I will tell you, wallowing depression, uh, that, that definitely did not help. Oh, yeah, I know. <sighs> Speaking of depression, um, you... You've had depression too, right, Such? Yes. Not how? not a diagnosed depression, but, you know, that how? general morass of of constantly second-guessing yourself, thinking everything else, you know, everything's going wrong, it's all terrible, and, you know, just not wanting to leave, go anywhere, do anything. How accurate is the scene from the amazing hit release, Saints Row 2022, to depression? Oh, I fucking hate these leftoid pieces of shit that think depression is that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, so what I'm getting from this is 0%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I bet you Wait, somebody no, somewhere has been depressed and has acted like that. Probably. I won't discount it as a possibility, but Jesus fucking Christ, no. Yeah. Well, the, unfortunately, they tend to see fucking depression as like this trendy thing that Oh my god, there's literally articles saying fucking white kids pretend to be depressed because it's cool. And oh my god, you fucking retards. I think part uh, of the they problem They also said is... the same thing about suicide. They said the same thing about suicide. White kids kill themselves because they think it's cool and because they're taking the experience away from black people. Oh my god, that was the dumbest fucking article I've ever read. <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding. They're, they actually tried to fucking say some dumb shit that, like, white kids are, like, appropriating black culture by taking suicide away from them or some shit. It, it was the most insane thing I've ever heard. Amazing. Well, that was, like, uh, that was like MSNBC saying that all these illegal immigrants are just nothing but trash. Yeah. Oh, God. And I love that that lives in TikTok. Instantaneous is like, I'm archiving this because this is definitely getting deleted. Yep. And they did. They they fucking deleted it because they were like, uh oh, we fucked up. We shouldn't have said that, but it's too late. We got it. We fucking know it exists. You fuckers called them trash. You fucking went after. You, you guys would. Oh, my God. The media would not shut the fuck up about Trump calling MS 13 in particular. Like you know, horrible criminals and rapists and shit. Specifically, they called are. out MS13, which they are. He was not talking about illegal immigrants. He was talking about MS13 specifically and how they yeah. cross the border and come into the states. And people fucking wouldn't shut the fuck up and said, "Oh well, that ju that's Trump saying fucking Mexicans are just criminals and rapists. Oh, how dare he?" Now here they are, literally saying that immigrants coming to blue cities and stuff because of. The fact that they were literally told, come here, it, they are trash. They they are fucking trash. 
Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they, they equated it as, like, um, the Republicans dumping the uh, immigrants, the illegals, in Martha's Vineyard is the exact same as I, and this is what the article person, the guy who wrote the article said, the same as me taking my trash and dumping it outside. Oh. And it was yeah. like, oh, that's why, that is immediately why Libs of TikTok says, I'm saving this fucking, this is for archive purposes, this is getting deleted, I know it. Yeah. Yeah, it's completely fucked. Like, oh my god, and it's so annoying too because they're like, oh well, they're sending them to us without fucking, you know, uh, without coordinating with us first. It's like, oh, you mean like how you did when you were sneaking them on planes to yeah. random red states in the middle of the night, and then local police weren't even allowed to do anything about it because the feds would step in and tell them that they can't do shit yes. and to not interfere. They were they were smuggling. People forget that the Democrats were caught smuggling children across the states. It's yep. like, mm. Unaccompanied minors who uh, illegal immigrants were being taken from their fucking families and then just taken to random cities in the U.S. in the dead of night by the Biden administration, and they were caught multiple times doing this. Like they they literally it's recorded it's on video we have it on video that they were doing this and they're just and everyone forgets about it but then the fucking Republicans send their overflow to these states that literally are saying we will take them and then suddenly oh how dare they how dare these Republicans send their trash here and it's like yes. you're the one saying that not only should the borders be open so that they can flood in but you're also the one saying that you welcome them and that you want them here. Yes. But then when they get Sanctuary. sent there, you fucking... Yeah, exactly. They, they are the ones that are saying, like, oh, well, we'll be a sanctuary state for them and everything because we're, we're such good people. And then as soon as they get them, they immediately call in the National Guard to have them deported. Yep. Instantly. Within a day. Yeah, within a day, they had them deported to back and, to Mexico. And it perfectly highlighted that the Democrats are fucking evil. It perfectly yeah. highlighted it. So and like, it was it was just so great. It was like, oh, you you sent them here without any warning. Your warning was when you declared yourself a sanctuary city and a sanctuary state. We're sending them to the sanctuary states because you keep saying that Florida, Texas, Arizona are just so evil, so amoral. To come to the sanctuary stuff. But you don't expect anybody actually to go there because you only declare yourself a sanctuary city when you're all the way on the other side of the fucking states. All the way on the other side. You don't actually expect people to be sent there to you. No, not at all. So the moment they are, now there's a big problem. Oh, you didn't give us any warning. Oh, like the Republicans have warning every time these illegals come across the border. We do need yeah, a exactly. DMZ the fucking border. Absolutely. I think the fucking National Guard should be permanently outposted at the border. We should actually set up a demilitarized zone at the Mexican border. Yeah, we should. Oh, and yeah, JD's right. Yeah, it was only 50 immigrants at Martha's yes. Vineyard, which they have tons and tons. We don't have the tons. space. We yeah, don't they have fucking the said, space. Oh, I can't believe they said that. Yeah, they tried to say, well, we don't have the space to house these 50 immigrants. Meanwhile, there's tons of empty buildings and mansions and shit that they could fucking keep them in and all this shit. But no, no. Immediately deported. In, called them trash and immediately deported them. And it's like, motherfucker, it was 50 immigrants and you couldn't even let 50 in. Do you know how many Texas has to take in every fucking day? Yeah, especially but they after can't the even Democrats, take 50. Especially after the Democrats canceled. One of the best orders that Trump gave ever. Democrats canceled the stay in Mexico order. So if the illegals get caught, under Trump's plan, if the illegals get caught, they're sent back to, across the border into Mexico, and they're like, you wait in Mexico until your court case before you're granted asylum into the United States. Fantastic plan. What do the Democrats do? Oh, no, that's that's horrible, evil, that's racist. Coming to the country, okay, so we're going to set you up here. Here's a cell phone. Um, when we call you, just show up for your show up for your court appointment. Otherwise, bye. Wait, they didn't show up to the court or thing. Oh, well, we, if they're lost in the system now. Fuck you. Yep, that's exactly what they do. Um, during that little section of the stream, we got a little super chat. Sounds like you're okay with human trafficking then, and you sound retarded as hell. So, Dan Wolf, I'm sorry that listening and comprehension is difficult for you, 
But if you should have gotten anything from that conversation, is that we're against it. You absolute Absolutely. potato. Yeah, we're literally saying don't don't traffic them across the border into here. Keep them there. Keep them and on until the other they side can. Of the until they can get themselves in here legally. Fill out the paperwork needed. Do it legally, and it's fine. Don't fucking don't shuffle these people across the border, and then bust them or fly them into random states and then drop them off here or force them into cheap labor, into the workforce for cheap labor and raising the housing markets, which the fucking Democrats directly benefit from. Oh, oh no, no, it's no, almost no. Like... Man, no, I need to specifically fuck this over. But it's okay when Republicans can do it. The Republicans are sending them to sanctuary cities, you fucking plank of wood. Also, These how... cities that declare themselves, we will take all of the illegals, bring them here. We are such good people. Oh, we're Democrats sniffing our own farts. We are such uh, good people. We'll not, be your sanctuary. Not just that. It's not human trafficking when these people have come into the country uh, illegally, by the way. And then the Republicans yep. are like, okay, let's send them to Democrat states. That's not trafficking. Yeah, where the Democrats specifically said, we're a sanctuary. We're a haven for these people. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, they helped them, all right. They helped their asses right on the buses and shipped them out. The Democrats Please. are literally the ones who made the policies to have the fucking border be so relaxed to let these people in, to just come in illegally with no rip repercussions or to be deported. And uh, what are you supposed to do as, as a border state when you have thousands, thousands of illegal immigrants coming into your state every single day what are you going to do with that overflow when you literally have Democrats saying, oh, well, we'll take them. We'll, we'll be a sanctuary city. And then they do. And then what happens? They immediately fucking send them like they blame the fucking Republicans for sending them there in the first place, which yep. is fucking retarded. And then they deport them back across the border. But, oh, it, it's terrible when the Republicans deport them. No, that's basically ice. You can't uh, do that. But I, it's totally fine for them to do it. I want to grab a comment here. Please excuse my son, Danny. He's a little special. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Yeah, I'm not the salty shit. one. You're the one who just said we're fine with uh, human trafficking and said we sound retarded. I don't know. Sounds when we just explained that we're against it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You like we literally you just gotta, explained why human trafficking is they bad. They say something fucking stupid and then you respond to them and they go, oh, you sound salty to me. Fuck off. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, off. again, that's what happens when you have people that are so uneducated and unintelligent. They're like, I'm a vote for the racist party. Yay, Democrats! Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. This is insane. Dan, you cried <laughs> over so much, you spent money, you dumb fuck. You yeah, you literally gave us money message. to bitch about it. Yeah. Like, fuck boo. off, dude. Boo hoo hoo, poor Dan. Oh. Anyways, we should probably stop giving this weirdo attention and get back to the video. Yeah, I want to get this over with. I hate this fucking video. Also, there was one comment I wanted to grab. Uh, where did that go? It might be gone now. It was something to the effect of like, oh, the real question is which Pokemon starter is the best one? There's a bunch that I really mm -hmm. like. Charmander. Charmander. Huh. I guess I like him most... I guess I like him most of uh, the Gen 1 ones. Here's hoping the worst happens to y'all. You are a beacon of humanity, Dan. Go fucking kill yourself. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Go die in a hole. Anyways. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I went through them on stream before. I'd have to do that another time at some point. Earthquake caused the meltdown of three nuclear reactors back in 2011, around 50% of the survivors were believed to be suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. And if it's not the disaster itself that triggers it, the ensuing displacement of being forced out of your home, the financial insecurity from losing your job, and all the effects of a disaster that continue for years on after, well, those will certainly do it for you. But at least the survivors of Fukushima had a society to return to. In Fallout, there's just nothing there. The entire world has been obliterated. Yeah, but it's been 200 years. Again, you already mentioned that it's 200 years. And Fallout the, 1, 2, and New Vegas, people have moved on. They accept the new reality. This is the new 
norm. This is the new society. This is yeah. what we're going to work with. But this is how retarded yeah. his argument is actually turning out to be such. The people who initially had to deal with it all have PTSD, and everyone's trying to survive for 200 years has PTSD. That's why nothing has been rebuilt. <laughs> which doesn't make sense because the other games exist, which <clears throat> completely blows that theory out of the water. Not just that, like, but if PTSD was such a thing that crippled people as badly as he's saying, then how did we even get to this point we're at now? There's yeah, tons absolutely. of brutal wars in the past. Oh, incredibly so. Like, again, the Vietnam War is when people first start taking PTSD seriously. They call it shell shock syndrome. Um, before that, there are all kinds of uh, different names for it, but shell shock was the name that the Vietnam War really cemented in with it. Vietnam? Yeah. I thought I thought shell shock came from World War One. No, there were all different kinds of names for it. Shell shock is the official designation by the U.S. military hmm. for Vietnam. But before there were all kinds of different terms for uh, for it, uh, trench madness, stuff like that. Yeah. Well, but New Vegas now, even has like its own yeah. thing where, um, like, people who are stuck in the past and refuse to move forward, they call it old world blues. In, in this, though, in the modern age, we've just decided, we've come up with a, a better term for it, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. So we have a new term for it, we have a new diagnosis for it, and there are varying levels, too. There are people that um, they get incredibly uncomfortable, they need to uh, leave um, the situation or whatever, they, they shut down and kind of huddle up on themselves for a bit. There are people that forget where they are and they'll lash out and attack people that does happen like they're all different there's all different kinds of tears so it's not like and, and it's all dependent on each person right what type of ptsd did you get what gave you the ptsd what are you going through <laughs> he said the thing he said it yes <laughs> yeah old world blues yeah I, I fucking love that ending slide though where they actually talk about that where they actually talk about the fact that there are, you know, people who become stagnant and focus on the past and want to go back to it so badly that they can't see the future for what it is. And you know, they they stunt po progress and it's called old world blues. And I was like, yeah, that's really fucking cool. I like that they actually work the name of the um, yeah, of the DLC into the world so well like that. I was like, that's really good. I love that. That was great. Yep. Um, Sid Jewell says, uh, PTSD was cemented in Vietnam. I had never heard PTSD in association with Vietnam. I had always heard shell shock. In fact, there's an entire game series, uh, based off of that, off of Vietnam literally having shell shock syndrome. Well, I so, do know shell shock was associated with, um, World War One, because I, I specifically remember that being a thing with World War One. It was shell shock because of the trenches and all the shelling. Yeah. Uh, after that, it turned into something else, and then it got turned into PTSD. Was it the emotes fam? Yeah, it's one person that did it. Yeah, and they retracted it themselves. So there you go. Yeah, it yeah. was something that was going on and on or too much. We'd get rid of it, but that's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's what I was gonna say. Fuck. There was well, we, we've already moved past it, so I don't really oh, know if it's worth. Oh, I do. Saying. I do want to note. This frame, in particular, does it give some memories of a of a past stag we've done? Oh yeah, it does. Oh man, <laughs> this, is, this is a mill speech. Well, hell, I remember oh, back when we, God. yeah, mill speech. But hell, remember when we covered fucking um, Oxhorn? Yeah, he had the same frame. Yep. Ooh, oh, a lot of people man. have this frame because I believe this is when you're going into Concord to fight the uh, Raider gang. Yeah. Oh, okay. wait, we're not on the same thing then. It was battle fatigue before PTSD, I think. Yeah, there you go. For me, it's Literally the, um, treated. yeah, it's people that, that's what I saw was this. Yeah. That was part of the promotional imagery that was released, too. That was from, like, the trailer that was initially yeah. released to announce Fallout 4. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone fucking used this image. God. But yeah, basically, the thing I was going to bring up earlier was just the fact that, because um, we were talking about the immigrant thing, was uh, <clears throat> back before Bernie lost his fucking mind and, you know, basically became a traitor. 
uh, he had his whole thing of like, you know, open borders is a Koch brothers proposal and explained like why flooding the, uh, the workforce with cheap labor and, um, and how it would raise the housing market prices would directly benefit like career politicians and stuff. And now they're doing exactly that. And he doesn't criticize it anymore because he's one of them. It's like, Oh my fucking God. I hate that shit so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say before the fucking Dan Wolf dude popped in and I didn't get a chance to say it. has been obliterated. When untreated, people suffering from PTSD can have a ton of problems integrating into society. Aside from their brain forcing them to constantly relive the horrors that they survived, many people- Okay, okay, that's a type of PTSD. Where, again, those are the people that they lose track of where they are. That is, that is one aspect of PTSD, reliving the traumatic experience. Um, mine, I would forget that I was home. And so when anybody would turn on the light, I would freak out and think it was, you know, it, it's time on duty. You know, get on deck, get your, get your gear from your footlocker, everything like that. Um, and I would just have those and I'd be hard to relax for a second. It would take me a little bit to realize I, I, I was home. I, was, I wasn't... I wasn't in the barracks anywhere. I wasn't in the Marines anymore. I can relax. That was mine. Um, other people, I, I won't name who it is unless they specifically want to talk about it. Um, they will have it where a smell or a sight uh, will trigger in them very, very vivid um, images of what they went through. And in this case, being uh, pretty horrific things in Africa. Some, some pretty really fucked up things from tribal conflict in Africa. So again, there's just all kinds of, of different types of it. Um, this is one avenue of it is reliving and, and experiencing the vivid images and everything. Other ones are losing track of where you are and what's going on. That would have been interesting if the if the sole survivor, if you played as the male in Fallout 4, if he had PTSD and things would have would have been cool. Like that would have been cool to experience that, but I wouldn't have I wouldn't have trusted Bethesda to have the talent to pull it off. But that would be interesting. Um, and then you have uh, where Laura, I think Laura is the female, the canon name, right? Nora. Nora. Laura, I was close. And then Nora wouldn't uh, have that. That would be that would be an interesting change, like because maybe you could have them do similar quests, and then you could see from his perspective things are a lot more gritty and like less trustworthy. Uh, maybe everything acts a little, everybody acts a little more cagey, and he's a little more on edge at all times and everything. And then Nora, they just look fine and normal. That could be cool. I think they. Um, they did that with, uh, um, what was it? Tw what was it? Twisted Sisters or whatever, where the one sister sees everything as happy and fine and normal, and then when you change the other sister, it's all like there are, there are thorns everywhere and blood and everything's on fire. I think that's the Guiana Sisters or Guiana the Twisted Sisters or something like that. No, 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 that wasn't, that wasn't, that, that wasn't that fucking Dan loser, that was that Voca loser. Totally different. Dan's not banned or anything like that, he's just, he's just an idiot, he's a moron. Voca is genuinely a crazy person. Yeah. Um, I did ban the Dan person because they got on my nerves, uh, with their bullshit. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, that last thing he said was pretty well cemented. Like, I hope something bad happens to you guys. Yeah, okay, fuck off. We don't need you here. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, in that case, go play in traffic. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said go die in a hole. Yeah, yeah, but anyways, it's the same sort of thing. That would be an interesting uh, aspect, too, where, um, where he would have these things. And, like, we can just take this image that's on screen right now. 
maybe this is the way he would see the world. Everything kind of shadowy, darker. The the lighting is more harsh and everything like that. And everybody doesn't look really trustworthy. You know what I mean? And then her, it would look more like what normal Fallout 4 looks like, where everything's kind of cartoonishly bright. Um, that that would be an interesting like dynamic between the two, just to show how their perspectives are different. But again, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust Bethesda to pull this off. This is just the spitballing for an idealized version of the game. <laughs> Go play Frogger on the interstate, Danny boy. Hope you get a high score. <laughs> <laughs> with stress disorder per the Anxiety and Depression Association of America have, quote, persistent and exaggerated negative beliefs or expectations about oneself, others, or the world. Uh, kind of. Again, like I said, it, it, all, it all dramatically depends on what type of PTSD you have and what type of depression that usually will be associated with it, right? There are people that become very nihilistically depressed. Um... And that usually leads into suicidally depressed. Uh, then you have people like what I experienced, where it's like life's passing you by, you're not doing anything, everybody else is further ahead than you now. Uh, you you did the one thing you wanted to do and you failed, and now everybody else is a leg up and you're starting back at square one. And how does that make you feel? Something like that. You know, it's that sort of depression where you're you're defeating yourself the entire time. Um, this more, this is more leading into, um, where you're going into paranoia and everything like that. You notice how one of the, the second example is no one can be trusted. So yeah, this is, like I said, it, it's far more complex than a simple black and white thing. That's why a lot of these diagnoses are, these are some of the things that you can have, right? Why is this a loser trying to make a video section on PTSD? which is an extremely complex mental condition when he's just a fucking brain light. I added in the fucking. Well, it's because he he thinks very highly of himself and he's very confident in himself. He's, he's a con man, like I said earlier. Yeah, and he also thinks this strengthens his point, but it doesn't if you're anyone who knows what you're talking about, which Setch is when it comes to PTSD. At least somewhat. Well, yeah, you're, I'm, you're I'm, not an expert, I'm not an expert, but, not but, by any means. But you're more familiar with it than I am. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair statement. I know more than the normal person, but I don't know more than anybody who's properly studied it. Yeah. He discussed what video game character would survive COVID. Of course he did. Well, after we figured out, after all the lies and everything stopped, it would be 99.9% .9 of all video game characters. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> I added in the fucking Master Chef Kratos has no his spices like no other. Yep. Fear flashes. Oh god. Ugh. Don't remind me. <laughs> world people with pt irritable reckless self-destructive does any of that sound familiar yeah. to the world of fallout <laughs> it's also common that what? was a ghoul that that is somebody that has gone fucking crazy and feral that's not that's not somebody the ghoul isn't suffering ptsd and for prefers to seek refuge in drugs and alcohol something we see literally everywhere in the wasteland with dr okay yeah again it's self-medication is what they call it people have a thing where they don't want to trust if especially if you're going through ptsd and you don't want to open up to other people about it and are you really going to trust what some doctor says you're going to go and do what makes you feel better what makes it go away for you self-medicating um sometimes very effective a lot of times, very much not so. There are ones which are um, emotional support animals, are a fantastic one. There, there are great charities that do emotional support animals, by the way, for veterans in particular. I uh, definitely recommend checking those out. But yeah, so this is, again, one of the things that uh, it becomes a natural human response. You want to take care of the problem yourself. 
and you know your body better than anybody else, so you know, like, this makes me feel good. So you fall into that spiral trap. Happens. That's just, that's just normal. Drugs like jet and spilled all over the place, or the empty whiskey bottles that just litter the ground. There's even a quest in Fallout New Vegas where you have to retrieve a book on PTSD for a doctor. Carrington of the Railroad describes this very situation when discussing the post-traumatic stress his agents are dealing with. Okay, so I, I think I need to bring about here for New Vegas. They are in a war. There is a war going on in New Vegas. He the doesn't Legion know that. In the yeah, I, Matt Pat doesn't know that, but this is for everyone else. Yeah. The Legion and the NCR are in open conflict. There are open battles. The Legion is using psychological warfare. They literally nail people to crosses that cannot be saved so that their comrades can watch them die in agony. This is a very specific thing. He's not asking for a book on PTSD just because it's the wasteland. He's asked for a book on PTSD because there's a fucking war going on. A brutal war. Yeah. Yeah. One where your their enemy is actively engaged in psychological warfare. Yeah. And when you see the shit that goes on in places like Forlorn Hope and um, Bitter Springs and stuff like that, like, yeah, you're going to get... Soldiers are going to get PTSD from seeing their comrades get blown apart by mines that were literally because they put they put mines underneath injured soldiers so that when other soldiers run up to help they explode <laughs> and yep. yeah i'm pretty sure you're gonna get ptsd from shit like that and yeah yep. you you have a mission to like do surgery on people who have lost limbs and yep. stuff. It's like, yeah, you're gonna get fucked up when shit like that happens. It has nothing to do with radiation whatsoever. Yep. I'm pretty sure he asked for those books because he's a medic for a refugee camp, mostly for the kids. Oof. Yeah, that's uh, Bitter Springs. Yeah. Mm. And, and keep in mind in this war, too, like, the Legion's favorite tactic is to injure somebody, nail them to a cross... And put them up on the front lines so that their moans and cries and pleas for help to end the suffering will be heard by the NCR. You can imagine yeah. what that fucking does to you. Yeah, and it's so common that they literally, like, part of the <laughs> sniper team's job is to execute people on crosses from a distance. Yeah. So, Deus yeah, it's pretty, both... like, they, they also use children. Um, yep. Children with grenades. Yep, children with grenades. <laughs> I just read the infidel. Yep. I can't help but imagine Rich Evans singing, PTSD, PTSD, I'm gonna come. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> to the tune of his ATST skit now. Yep, there you go. By the way, that actually reminds me, during... Uh... EFAP 200, they were covering part of a Red Letter Media video on Obi-Wan, and um, I forget who it was, it was either Rich or Jay who called Star Wars fans man babies for complaining about the show, even though they were also complaining about the show, and it just seems weird that they're being that kind of shitty about it when they're the ones who are like, they obviously didn't start the whole thing of criticizing Star Wars, but... They're definitely, like, well-known figures in it for the Plinket reviews. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Kilo, it, it, again, it's not... Well, I'm not saying that PTSD is only for adults or anything like that, but this is a brutal war. Some of the people that are going to witness the war are going to be the children. Some of the people that are going to be left behind from the people that are caught in the war are going to be children, Right. So, my point is, there is a war going on. PTSD is going to be pretty fucking valid of a, of a symptom. It's going to be pretty fucking valid of a mental disorder that's going to be going around because of this war. Because this war is so brutal. Yeah, but it's not going to prevent people from building up a society. 
Yeah. Which is a whole argument here. Oh, if they don't have, if they're not fucked in the brain from radiation, well, all of them have PTSD because of trying to survive in the wasteland. No. Even if yeah. every single person had PTSD, which I can almost guarantee they all don't, um, fuck it, it it's not going to prevent society from rebuilding. That's just stupid. Oh, yeah, it is like that. Um, Kuyo system said, do thing, get popular off thing, drag the ladder behind you, and then tell other people they can't do thing. Yeah, exactly. It's just like um, iDubs. It's the iDubs effect of, oh, well, it's fine when I do it, but now that I'm big, I'm going to cut the ladder from behind me so no one else can ever do what I did. Oh, uh, the red letter media thing, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's unfortunate to see them act like that, because they're usually pretty decent. It's just, they do this a few times with Star Wars. I know back when um, Lost Jedi came out, Rich Evans said, uh, he, he was mocking people calling Rey Mary Sue. Oh, she's a Mary Sue. And it's like, come on, Rich. Come the fuck on. Like, you should know no, better than is. this. She yeah, is. You... Yeah. Oh, yeah, iDubs and H3H3. Yeah, both of them. They both did the same thing. I fucking hate that. And it so sucks, too, because I loved iDubs. I thought he was... I, I watched his channel all the time. He made such good content. And then he just flipped around and was like, I, actually, no, I'm a cuck, and being offensive <laughs> is bad, and no one should ever do it, and if you do, I'm going to call you a racist. And it's like, like, dude, you were saying the N-word every day on your channel with no like no issue with it at all. But now that other people are being even mildly offensive, it's suddenly, no, they're not allowed to do that, and fuck off. Yep. And, uh, like, what he's doing with Sam Hyde and all that shit. There's reason his channel collapsed, too, so. Yeah. Jay mocked people for hating Jake Skywalker. Yeah. I mean, people, are, like, were right to complain about Luke in the, uh, Disney movies, though. I just yep. don't get Red Letter Media mocking the same people who are a large part of their audience in the first place, but are doing many of the same things they did in the past. And they're doing in that same video. They make complaints about dumb stuff in Obi-Wan, and yet they're mocking people who are commenting about dumb stuff in Obi-Wan. It's just weird. Yeah, it, it's a... Yeah. It's a level of... It, it's, a, it's not having any self-awareness at all to a whole new degree. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was the first video I ever watched by them, so it really soured my opinion on them. Which one? Uh, the one where they were talking about um, Obi Wan. Uh, you haven't seen That's the Plinket the reviews. Video. No, oh I've not God. seen the Plinket reviews, and I've not watched any of the other Red Letter Media stuff besides the stuff that we've watched, which was after yeah. I had already watched the Obi Wan stuff. So okay. I my stuff my thing was already tainted with them. I was like, ah, no, you guys suck. Understandable. The Plinkett reviews are genuinely great. Yeah. I've heard them referenced a lot. Like, I, I've seen other videos where they use clips from the Plinkett reviews in it, but I've not actually seen the whole thing. Yeah, we'll have to sit down and watch that sometime if you're up for it. Yeah. When discussing the post-traumatic stress his agents are dealing with. So what can you do to save a society like this? Well, within Fallout, the solution given for solving this issue is pretty depressing. At the end of Fallout 4, Father comes to the surface to see if the wasteland was really as bad as everyone says it is. He concludes that the whole thing is doomed and the Institute is humanity's best hope for progress. Okay, so several things. First of all, that's not at the end of the game, you fucking idiot. Yeah. That's like halfway not through the Institute path. Not to mention, yeah. that's Fallout 4. Not to mention, it's Fallout 4, which is fucked on every level anyways. Um, the other thing, Father is, like, okay, Sean has lived his entire life in the Institute, and the Institute has been fucking over literally every single person on the surface's existence, at least as far as the Commonwealth goes. Literally every person in the Commonwealth, they've been fucking over their ability to survive and rebuild. F like... This is one of the things that pisses me off about the Institute, is that you can't call this shit out. If it was intentionally written that the Institute is just this fucking stupid, that'd kind of be a problem anyways, because they're supposed to be smart. But if it was intentionally written that the Institute is somehow missing, that they've caused the lack of progress on the surface, and you don't 
like, if you had the ability to call it out, that would make it better. The fact that you don't implies that Bethesda didn't realize that that would be an issue. Like, it's literally written into the game that people in the past had tried to start the Commonwealth Provisional Government. This was to start rebuilding society. Um, and the Institute went out of their way to fuck things over so that wouldn't happen. So Father coming to the surface to see, oh, everything's a ruin still? The, the, the surface is doomed? That's completely fucked. Because they've caused that. Directly. Numerous times, over and over and over again. And yeah. yep. the next part... Here's why Matt Pat's stupid for this. Everyone in the Institute is fucking irradiated anyways. Like, normally that wouldn't be an issue, but Matt Pat's whole issue, or whole argument here, is that people who are fucked in the head because of radiation are going to be crazy and violent and going to be killing each other, which means the Institute would not be sustainable because every... The whole point of kidnapping Sean is because he was not tainted by radiation. He came from a vault. They needed a pure human because they could not make the synths without pure humans. No one in the Institute is a pure human besides Sean. Yeah. Oh my god. It's all so fucked. Oh my god. Yeah, and that one thing really pisses me off. Mm, yes, this society has failed. There is no hope for it. Well, it clearly, we are the only future that this world has. It's like, meanwhile... You're the one that caused this shit. It's like the only reason there hasn't been any progress is because of your group specifically. Exactly. It's so fucking annoying. Uh, make a Buster Shepard. No need to apologize for accidental caps log. Shit happens. Sean, the only human untouched by radiation, dies of cancer. Yeah, at the age of 60. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> irony. Same goes for John Henry Eden, the leader of the Enclave in Fallout. <laughs> you're, talking, you're talking to the leader of a faction whose entire ideology is believing anyone tainted needs to fucking die. Yeah. God, guys, keep in mind that he's currently done a, a really shitty Bethesda game and a really shitty Bethesda game as his two examples. Not the one by Obsidian, not the ones by Black Owl Studios. No. No, we're not saying... That's not the part I'm saying is ironic, Kilo. It's ironic that radiation is associated with cancer. Radiation causes cancer. Um, it's one of many things that cause cancer. Sean is free of radiation. He has no radiation whatsoever. And he dies of cancer. Meanwhile, you have all these old people all over the other Fallout games that are perfectly fine and have been out in radiation the entire time. There's really old people even in Fallout 4. Uh, yeah. Above 60? I believe so. Yeah, I, I mean, that, that would that'd be my thing. This would be the thing that people lasted above 60. Um, I know there's a few. I remember uh, the one in Far Harbor, he's like, in his late 70s. Oh, well, there you go, he's then. totally fine. He's literally a fucking guide. He like takes people around the island and makes sure that they stay safe. And he's like in his upper 70s. Kretosis, don't let Such know that Sean is the only person in Fallout to have ever died of cancer. Oh, yeah. Mama no, I, Murphy. I'm... I forgot about her. Yeah. I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure the the original leader of Shady Sands dies, or the the original um, president of the NCR. I'm pretty sure she dies of cancer. I think. Well, she's not the original. She's uh, the most popular. Uh, her father was the original. Oh, fair enough. Fair. Tandy was 72 years of NCR presidency. <laughs> yeah. Aradesh. Yeah, that was his name. Murphy dies of addiction? Didn't die fucking soon enough. She should have died before the game fucking started. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and there's <laughs> still those funny fucking videos of her doing the pommel horse and everything. It's just like... Because <laughs> yeah. they, didn't, they didn't think to program in that this geriatric fuck 
who can barely move around and wants to sit everywhere. She suddenly just gets up, goes to the pommel horse, and does a full-on Olympic routine on it. It's like, Jesus Christ. Three, the irradiated world had to be eradicated for the world to be rebuilt. Fallout 2, again, the same solution. Uh, and though all of these cycles... No, 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 no. Fallout 2, that is not what the Enclave wanted. The Enclave were fine letting these other weirdos live and die off. What they needed was sustainable population, which is why they were opening up all the control vaults. They needed people who's like, yeah, all these other people, fine, whatever. We don't give a fuck about them. We're rebuilding the United States. And to do that, we need a healthy population that has not been fucked over by radiation and mutation. Because obviously, these are genes that are going to continue going forward. Also, I want to point out here, he has this list of like... Um mental symptoms, persecution, delusion, schizophrenia, PTSD, then just randomly drugs and alcohol addiction. Which is the only one that ha ha we have in all of the Fallout games. And PTSD makes most sense in New Vegas because there's a war going on. Meanwhile, oh. we don't have we don't have catastrophic levels of schizophrenia. We don't have uh, Capgras delusions, which is only in Fallout 4 are people like this hyper paranoid, and there's a reason they're fucking hyper paranoid is because it's true. The Institute is actually doing the thing they're paranoid about. And you just have persecution? I. Um, two things. Someone in chat Caesar dies of a brain tumor. Right, I forgot about Caesar's brain tumor. Ooh, yeah. Also, um, it's not even typesetted correctly. What the fuck? It hurts my eyes. Yeah. So. What the hell is like? It's not you're, centered. It's not right. left or right it was, aligned. It was centered. It's centered on everything, but PTSD is suddenly way off to the left for some reason. Which just fucks the whole thing up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's. Uh, I, I wasn't looking before. Yeah, now it's bothering me. Fuck. He wants to. Yeah. Uh, he never played any of them and only just wiki it. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, but again, persecution delusions. It's like there's not really persecution delusions. There are people actively being persecuted again. Yeah, like I guess you have <sighs> the the scientist at Red Rocket who, or not Red Rocket. Fuck. Um, the rocket facility in New Vegas. Who thinks he thinks he's a ghoul? Right. Uh, um, right. Repcon. Yeah. Thank you. Good God. Yeah, the Repcon test facility, and he thinks he's a ghoul, but he's actually not. Um, I guess, yeah, he is delusional. He thinks he's being persecuted against. I guess he fits that. But he's the only yeah. one. Yeah, like one of, case. The rest of them aren't delusional. <laughs> yeah, well, the only other thing I could think of is, like, the Nightkin, but that's brought on by Stealth Boy use, so... Yeah. That has nothing to do with did... radiation. Well, it, it is technically radiation, but it's not the bomb radiation. It's specific radiation that is given off by the stealth boys. Yep. I notice how that's not like a thing. It, like, not every single person. You go into New Vegas, or like, Benny isn't suffering from persecution delusions. He's not suffering from schizophrenia, PTSD, drug and alcohol addiction, cop grass delusions, none of that. Yeah. Yeah, most of the characters in these games aren't. There's just a few exceptions where things happen. But it almost never at least none of the stuff he has listed here has anything to do with like appearing in the games with the form of just background radiation. Like that's just not how the games work. <laughs> Dinod, Caesar is just a better version of father you wouldn't understand versus let me explain my entire philosophy and method of governance to you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, Boone, Boone has PTSD. Again, like I said, PTSD fits in New Vegas because there's a war going on. And Boone has PTSD from an aspect of that war. His wife was sold into slavery to the Legion, who they are currently at war with. And so he had to execute his wife. But 
the thing that really fucked up Boone was the Bitter Springs Massacre. That, like, yeah. his wife going, his wife dying is, did not, did nothing for his sanity at all. But Bitter oh Springs is what really fucked him up. <laughs> I just saw Legionary Hunter's fucking comment of wife's dead, and I just thought of the fucking, <laughs> the fucking <laughs> ride wife, wife fight back, kill wife. Regrets. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's literally just that, but with fucking Boone's face. <laughs> wife get kidnapped. Kill wife. Regret. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know his wife was pregnant too. Don't, don't tell that to Acer Thor, and he doesn't understand why the why anybody would keep the receipt of sale. <laughs> World to be rebuilt. Fallout 2, again the same solution. And while yeah, all is, of these it. psychological issues and delusions make it incredibly difficult for the wasteland to rebuild itself, mass genocide isn't the only answer. It is an answer, but probably not the one most of us would actively want to choose and honestly one that the game pushes you away from. No, in order to rebuild the wasteland, the focus shouldn't be on rebuilding society on the macro level, but on fixing the people in the micro level. The fuck does that mean? I mean, fixing the people in the micro level. So, are we talking about ethnic cleansing and everything? What, are we, what do you mean? Oh no! Is he going down Removing... the movie Bob line of uh, logic? We need yeah, to cleanse gonna... the impure. Are we going to remove all wrong thought and everything now? Or are you actually going to advocate for like murdering all these people <laughs> so that you can get an ethno state? <laughs> fixing people in the micro level. It's like, oh boy, where is this going? Instead of wasting time with worldwide genocide viruses or human replacement synths, the true solution in Fallout is psychological treatment. Well, there's no- What? <laughs> okay, show me all the psychologists in the Fallout universe. I'm waiting. Yes. Show me all the psychologists in the Fallout universe that are going to stand in front of Cook Cook and diagnose him. <laughs> oh my fuck, mothering god. Holy shit. Each passing minute, this video manages to get more and more fucking stupid. Bedunius is right. He is one of those people. Bedunius says, replace police with social workers. DM. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he is. Oh yeah, because that god. works out so well. Oh, shit, yeah, how, is, did those, hold on. how did those work out? This was before then. Yep. Oh, this is before that. Fuck. Yep. Yeah. This is when they were pushing that leftoid nonsense. And how has that worked out for California? How has that worked out for Chicago <laughs> and everything? Please send your most unarmed social worker. Yes. We've sent a social worker so unarmed that he actually doesn't have arms. Oh, oh God, that reminds me of the thing we've got to watch after this stag. Holy shit. What? The thing I, I said... We would just wait for you to be up and awake. And oh, right. The yeah. Space Station 13 thing. Okay. Yeah. Game Theory did Fallout, unfortunately. Yeah. It's been a painful video. It's been an incredibly awful video. No catch all solution for schizophrenia. Doctors have proven several types of medication that can help improve these conditions. Where are please. you going to get the medication in the yeah, world of Fallout? Yeah, please show me. Please show me where the fuck you were going to produce these medicines at. In Fallout. Please. I, I can't even believe this. This map pat might genuinely be somebody that thinks that food magically appears in the grocery store. Mmm. Mm. Chemistry station, bro. <laughs> why am I? Why am I now imagining a leftoid going? We wait for you to a wounded social worker. Now who's paying for health Oh, oh god. god! Fucking rings of power. God, I. That show. Fuck. 
Yep. Prove these conditions, namely antidepressants for PTSD and antipsychotics for schizophrenia. Where are you going to get them? I feel like treating these illnesses are a little bit more complicated than that. Yes. They're also you're... not. They're also not the like highest priority right now of things to focus on in the fucking wasteland. Hmm. I've got my food. I've got my water. I've got my antipsychotics. I'm good to go. Getting mugged by those three grannies at Cerulean Robotics did a number on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, how, how are you going to get antidepressants? How are you going to get antipsychotics? This is 200 years after, mind you, by Matt Pat's own words. How? I think every ghoul has PTSD. That's what Matt Pat unironically said. It's like, no, they just went fucking crazy. To give you an idea of how bad this is, Hopeless Peace Shit, since I didn't see you commenting earlier, um, Matt Pat's argument is essentially, everyone has radiation in their brain, and even if they didn't, everyone has PTSD. That's why society won't rebuild at all, ever in Everybody. the Fallout universe, including in the original games and in New Vegas, where society is and has rebuilt. Yep. Oh, and keep in mind, to, to give you the level we're working with here, and Fallout not only means nuclear Fallout, but also the Fallout of the aftermath of the nuclear Fallout. I just got that. <laughs> Hi, clap for you, Bethesda. It's like, Bethesda didn't name it Fallout, you idiot. People with PTSD can rebuild themselves, what the fuck? Yeah, he's arguing that people with yep. PTSD can't. Like, he hasn't explicitly yes. said... That PTSD turns you into a nervous wreck that can't do anything. But that's essentially the base of his argument. Oh, all these people have PTSD. And that's why society isn't rebuilding. Um, what? Yeah. That's insanity. That was the, this whole thing, too. Was, I, like, when he was talking about the PTSD D thing, I immediately told him to go fuck himself. Because I have it. And I know other people <laughs> who we've had on Stag have it. Matt, awesome. Matt Pat is stupid. No fucking way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who Absolutely. would have imagined? But yeah, man, that one thing, that that Fallout thing really pissed me off. Oh my god. I clap for you, Bethesda. Motherfucker. One clap and a half is what he said. So he gives him one little, and then he just, it's like, oh, you fucking idiot. Oh, fucking I hate that Bethesda gets credit for so much shit that they had nothing to do with. Yeah. yeah. People people give Bethesda credit for everything in ESO, and it drives me insane. It's like, Bethesda didn't do fucking shit. Piss off. Society isn't rebuilding in the way it used to be, but Fallout 1-2 in New Vegas goes against his claims. He's using them as evidence of why he's right. That's the yes. worst part. He literally said that New Vegas could be the center... Of, of society and it just isn't that's what he says it just isn't they don't they don't regrow at all nothing yeah he says they could be a hub for growth in the wasteland and they just don't and it's like uh what what that's literally a plot point of the fucking game what are you talking about yep the only games exactly. that don't rebuild at all were written by bethesda yet we've said that too already yep yep exactly this is one of those videos that's so bad we've had to defend Fallout 4 from the stupid things that are being said in it. Yeah. And the railroad. We actually had to def partially defend the railroad and father. Because this <laughs> dude is so fucking... Ugh. Yep. That's where we're, That's currently how it's going right now. We're actually having to defend Fallout 4 from this idiot. Man, I knew this video was going to be bad. I didn't know it was going to get this bad. We are getting through it a lot faster than I thought we would be, though. Yeah, yeah same. I'm very grateful for. Yeah. Yeah. Thus, the key to Fallout isn't dependent on which faction you choose. Whether you go with the Brotherhood of Steel or the Railroad or the Enclave or whoever. It doesn't matter. Why the fuck are you showing a Warhammer 40k Space Marine, you donkey? Because it's a mod. 
but, I know it's a mod, but, but it's just here's, like... Here's the thing, you can't ever side with the Enclave. Exactly! It, this is fucked on so many other levels. You can't side with the Enclave. That is never an option in any of the games. The closest you, you can do is poison the water for them, which will fucking kill you anyways if you drink that water. Yep. Yep. Also, man... <laughs> this is so fucking funny because... Just the whole thing of, like, this was made before the Frontier. But yeah. keep in mind... So I, I just find it funny that he's saying, like, oh, but we should be able to side with the Enclave. And it's like, hmm, a certain other group of people who made a, a certain mod very much disagree with you, Matt Pat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my You wouldn't God, have my... to be a Trump supporter now, would you, Matt? No, there's no way. He's He's too stupid. No, but I know that. But that's the joke. Is like literally, if you want to side with the Enclave, apparently you're a fucking Trump supporter and yeah, a fascist. Yeah, I, I do remember. I do remember that interview. Tyler McVicker is a moron. Fucking idiotic. Um, yeah. So, okay, where you've got the Brotherhood here? What about the Minutemen? Which is nothing. What about the Institute? Well, I, I think what he's about... just using a couple examples. He doesn't actually need to list every single one of them. I know, but one of his examples is one you physically can't join. No, I you know. Can't, you can't side with. <laughs> oh, one God. of his examples is double faction you can't side with because he said Enclave, but he showed a faction that doesn't exist within fucking Fallout. Yeah, yeah I still can't believe he showed a picture of a fucking Warhammer. Soldier, why? Why? Why is it so hard for you to just take the vanilla armor from the game and have you a picture why? of it? Because I, I doubt he edits his video himself. He's probably got someone to do it for him. The editor of this video probably just, you know, slapped open Google, slapped in Fallout 3 Enclave, or just Fallout Enclave, and a bunch of images came up and, oh, that one's cool looking. I'll use that one. Probably. Probably. It would not surprise me. I guarantee this is from a mod. Yeah, oh, it, it has to be. Yeah. You don't even have to say... I mean, I Sorry, guess, yeah, I, I guarantee. Just, but yeah, it is, but, it is mean, absolutely like, from... The mod page he got it is where he got it from, not just, like, yeah, a yeah, random yeah. picture. Sorry, I should have made that bit more clear. I'm just... This video is fucking with my head, okay? ruling philosophy you go with. They're all doomed to fail if the citizens don't get proper treatment first in a game. No. <laughs> if the citizens don't get proper treatment first. They need meds. What he's saying is we need social workers and everything. Not, not guns to stop the raiders and the hostile wildlife and everything. No, no. You need social workers and everything. Yeah, I looked it up. It's like the 15th picture. It's a mod, yeah. Why is Ned Flanders here? Because he made a comment about your neighbors collecting skulls, and he showed a picture of Ned Flanders in mod, and a bunch of skulls appearing on screen. Hey, I did Fallout Enclave, and I got an Eldar image? What the fuck? This is completely unrelated, but I just... You just... You just what? Processing. What so, the fuck? So, like, question. Has Matt Pat spent even 20 minutes on the Fallout wiki? No. I would doubt it. From what I understand, um... Maybe we could check in the credits, because we're almost there. The person who edits the video and the person who writes the video and the person who voices the video, so Matt Pat, are all different people. Yeah. So it's one idiot reading the uh, words of another idiot that's being uh, edited by another idiot. Yeah. Great system. And like I said earlier, it, it feels like it feels like they read a very short summary of all of the games and then just like made huge huge assumptions about the stuff that they didn't read. Yeah. Like a certain somebody we covered before. 
that's a lot of people at this point, Pagan. I know who you're referring oh. to specifically, <laughs> but that is a lot of people at this point. It is, yeah, but like, I, the best example I can give is literally like, I didn't play House's Quest, but I know exactly what happens because I'm going to make an assumption. Yeah, that he feels sorry for you or whatever. It's like, he feels he owes you. It's like... <laughs> yeah, and we're never told why he wants the platinum chip. We're never told why. Oh my god. Full of choices, best choice for ending would be helping the citizens self-medicate. Only by doing this... You heard it here first, folks. According to MapPat, the best ending in every single Fallout game is to help the citizens self-medicate. Actually, no. I would say this is not actually idiotic. This is almost as if the writers are trying to rile up a response, and it always feels that way with any of Matt Pat's vids. Uh, possibly, but if that's the case, I don't... I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, self-medicate. Shoots gun. <laughs> oh, Cree, Cree. You have it now, don't you? What? You should show it. What? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, wait. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't. Oh, right. That. Um, yeah. Yes, that. hold on. <laughs> this will take. Cree, Cree's going to show you exactly how you self medicate. Yeah. Uh, give me just a second here while I grab the link. <laughs> Self-medication. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so fucking good. I love that emote. It is great. Oh, shit. Don't say anything. My, my headphones died because I forgot to plug them in. He says don't say anything, but you know what? I, I said don't like say anything, things. you fuck! Oh wait, they might actually be able to hear you still, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> actually no, they wouldn't be able to hear you because I could... I don't know. Charging battery. Charging battery. It's a mystery, we'll find out in the recording. Yes, what were you saying? Well, I... <laughs> I, I, I literally said, he says don't say anything, but I feel like saying something. You fuck! Anyways, yeah, th this video makes me want an image on screen. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's going by that fucking comment. By. What? Uh, fucking Jason Flake. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let you guys read it. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Headset waifu self-medicated. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's why she died. It's tragic. This ever have a shot to not be the wasteland. No amount of free-flowing clean water is going to change that. But uh, I actually yeah. love that he showed this image because it just shows how fucked Fallout 4 is as far as water goes. Yeah, Fallout yeah. 3, your father dies for this purifier. When well, Fallout 4, you could just do this. Yep. Yeah. And one of my saves right. for Fallout 4, I think it was my first character, I actually did this in Sanctuary with the river. I just filled it full of, like, as many uh, top-tier water purifiers as you could put in there. Yep. So, yeah... Uh... Again, it's funny that he keeps talking about this as if... As if he's he, correct in any way. Yeah, which he isn't. And this is all complaints about Fallout 3 and 4, which we've said a thousand times. Meanwhile, in Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas, society has come back. It's improved itself. There is new machinery. There is new technology being made in the wastelands. There are new roads being built. There are 
new trade routes. There are new cities being founded. Society's already come back in Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas. Yep, yep. it was uh, Bethesda with Fallout 3 and 4 who decided, yeah, we want a perpetual wasteland where nothing is advanced in any way. It's still like the bombs dropped 20 years ago. Matt Pat, how will people medicate without supplies or uh, infrastructure? Just do it, forehead. <clears throat> But that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like today's theory and earn. Not at all. Not. Nope. Your voice is annoying. Your face is annoying. Your videos are especially fucking annoying. <sighs> the mood for more Fallout action? Well, then click this annotation to go and learn about the philosophy and ethics of the Fallout universe. From. Uh, uh, from oh, what? God. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no. Did we just find out what we might be covering next week? Yeah, I I am morbidly curious. Cuz Wisecrack, yeah. I haven't seen a uh, granted, I haven't seen many videos from them, but I haven't seen a good one from them. It's a over at the Wisecrack channel, a channel that, like this one, specializes in fusing pop culture, learning, and a little bit of humor along the way. They also helped out a I don't believe you because also... there's no humor no, no, in this no, no, video. No, 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 no. What he was about to say is incredibly damning. Hold on. Uh oh. Infusing pop culture, learning, and a little bit of humor along the way. They also helped out a lot with the research that I used in today's theory. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we are definitely covering that video next week. Holy shit. Yeah, we have to now. Oh. We have to cover it. <laughs> that was way more... De I Normally we yep. stop a little early. I am glad we kept watching. Holy shit. Yep. Oh, boy. Ah, it's great. This is fucking great. Yeah, that answers so many questions. Holy fuck. Absolutely. So if you didn't hate this episode, then chances are you're not going to hate theirs. If you <laughs> We will. Oh, we will. <laughs> we will. <laughs> I've seen that Wisecrack video. Do it, Kratosis. It will be a wild ride, dear God. Oh, no. Who the hell is Wisecrack? As far as I know, Wisecrack is one of those hello fellow children uh, type channels, and uh, their content is fucking garbage. Um, I know EFAP has covered them a couple times, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where some, like, at least one of the EFAP memes came from. I'd have to double yep. check. I want, I want to continue. I want to see what else, if there's more fucked here going. Yeah. If you've ever been curious about which of the major factions in Fallout 4 is ethically the right one, well, then you're going to want to click that button. And seriously, you guys going and showing them some love will make them like me more and prove my value to them as a friend. Which one of them is ethically correct? I guess the Minutemen kind of win by default, even though they're they, kind they of would, fucked too. Yeah, they would have to win by default. The Institute is straight up fucking no. The Brotherhood is straight up fucking no. And the Railroad... The Railroad just care about the robots. And I don't understand how, in a world where it's hard to survive, um, your basic daily necessities are hard to acquire. I don't know how the Railroad continue existing. Because isn't that the true me bribing someone to like you because you can provide them with a valuable service. Ah, oh, it just tickles the heart. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go work on next week's theory, which is going to start to get a little dark. See? Just because it's him and he's saying dark, I just immediately assume Dark Souls. Also, yeah, there's probably. no credits in this video. Yeah, so... Unless he does the Simpsons thing where you flash it for a second as a joke. But for him, it wouldn't be a joke because 
That'd be at least slightly funny, and there's nothing funny about this guy. Yeah. Yeah, it literally just ended. Yeah, alright, well. God, these thumbnails are fucking cancer. Get off my screen, you fucking cunt. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna queue up the other thing. Alright. Um, so yeah, we got through that faster than I thought, but it's still a three-hour episode today. Yeah. Short, but sweet. Yeah. I'm just gonna... We, we, do, we do need to talk about that weirdo with Rings of Power, though, but I guess a lot of people are are saying, including um, Mahler and everybody, that he's just a fucking useless ankle biter. There's no reason to interact with him at all. Yeah. Uh, we were considering covering that video, but it's someone who started shit with um, Mahler and some others. He basically accusing them of being sexist and racist and shit, which naturally Mahler didn't appreciate. So. Oh. Sorry, he I was just getting that queued up then. He, Mahler mentioned it on Twitter, and this guy started going after Mahler, and, uh, um, this guy was using a lot of the same shitty arguments that you see from a lot of people online who don't like Mahler. The, uh, um, oh, your content is too long, your content is, uh, Cinema Sins Light, blah, 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 blah. A bunch of stupid heart, uh, horse shit like that. Um, and this guy was just being disingenuous, dishonest the entire time. And he started demanding that Mahler come onto his channel to debate him about this. When, first of all, motherfucker, you're the one who started this shit, you dumb cunt. And secondly, why the hell would Mahler go onto your channel when, like, you've been nothing but rude to him and lying about him to start this shit? Isn't that the dude who blocked you on Twitter? No, that was one of his fucking simps that blocked me. Mm. His video gives me the I hate everything Last Jedi video vibes. Yeah. Yeah, I've, anyway. I've been saying he he reminds me of a discount Hassan Piker. Yeah. Like, I fucking can't stand him. Yeah, it's not even worth mentioning this guy's name because he's such a cunt and I just don't even want to give him the slightest amount of attention. Yeah. Yep. Anyways, uh, $2 from Lantern's Glow. This was on our Rings of Power video. Remember, the writers only care about money. Well, yeah, the showrunners or the company at least. Yeah, don't I don't know. think the writers actually care about money. I think the writers care about getting out their truth. Yeah. Two dollars from Flannel McManel. Thank you. You're not ready for this level of pain. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this, <laughs> we survived, at this least. video is dog shit. Five dollars from Scoopmeister. Thank you. Uh, he not roasted Bethesda fans, but got something right. Uh... I guess got roasted, or sorry, he not roasted Bethesda fans. Not only. Not only roasted Bethesda fans, but got something right. What's this world coming to? Also, if you want to laugh about uh, Cumberpatch looking shit posting, all right. <laughs> I don't think Matt Pat roasted Fallout fans though, did he? He roasted Fallout Three fans, uh, not intentionally, mind you. But oh. remember, his whole thing was that society hasn't advanced anywhere; it's not going and not doing anything. It's been two hundred years, and nothing has been rebuilt or anything. Yeah, it's all yeah. pathetic and stupid. It's like <laughs> that's only Fallout Three and Four. <laughs> Get fucked yeah, up like I would have agreed with him if he hadn't fucked it up by saying, "Yeah, and New Vegas falls into that too," which it does not. <laughs> yep. Um. Five dollars from Lantern's Glow. Thank you. Matt Pat has an IQ equal to the room temperature of Alaska. Oh. Yeah. That Not wrong. One. I, I couldn't help it. It was so funny to read that the first time. <laughs> uh, Ten dollars from Glint Spark. Thank you. Just remember, Movie Bob slash Game Overthinker is one of the major writers for comics and video game scripts for Matt Pat. Ooh. Yeah, I remember seeing that earlier. That is, uh... That's definitely something. Oh, uh, hey, Indigo, we're just about to end. We live in a society, but hey, it's just a theory. Uh... <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> just heard a British person call Oreos chocolate sandwich biscuits, and I finally understand why the Revolutionary War had to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I love the memes about what British uh, people call everything. It's not a yeah. gun, it's a Rudy Tootie pointed shooty. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
two euros from Enclave Emily. Thank you. Why is Communist uh, Luigi talking about the best game? Because he's an idiot. Uh, and five dollars from Mad Courier Six. Thank you. It's all good, Cree. No, you can't fix it. Maybe MatPat is melting your ISP. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for coming out, everyone. It's very much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys over in my streams, too. We stream every single weekday. So, yeah, feel free to come on over there. We've currently got the bounty game going for Hunt Down the Freeman, so if you want to see me suffer through that atrocious pile of horseshit, that's <laughs> always there. Yeah. And yeah, we just did a Space Station 13 stream today. It was uh it was okay. I had I had some fuck ups there and I got fucked over too, as as per usual. Yeah, so check out uh, such a streams and uh, have a good one everyone. Thank you for coming out. It's very much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, see you guys.